we're up to our fifth star in the rankings of our, you know, Team Galaxy organization, blah, blah, blah. But as of just now, we have been locked out of the town, guys. So if I take you guys on a quick tour, let's fly up high here. Um, we're at this point of the game where the sky has turned brick red because of plot reasons. And we've also been kicked out of the town, unfortunately. Uh, unexpectedly, actually. It was quite badass. And I really didn't expect it to be a thing. We have travelled all the way from... Let me just have a quick peek. We came out of the the baseline, the kind of base area where the, uh, the village is. And we've now got three objectives to complete in terms of our main story. We need to go to Lake Verity, Lake Valor and uh, Lake Acuity. Which is very similar to Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, right? Where you have to travel around to the lakes. Or at least go to one or two of the lakes. In terms of that story, we can see there's a bit of a repetition, this being a Sinnoh game. So that's kind of fun. And in order to, um, I guess, deal with this problem, we have to go to each of the lakes. And it appears, in order to obtain the red chain, you must clear the trial set by the Pokemon that protects Lake Verity and the Obsidian Fieldlands. So, we're going to start off doing that today. I will quickly point out, as we get hunted by whatever's chasing me. There's a, I think there's a luxury trying to get deep in my booty here. I will tell you guys that we spent a long time yesterday training up our team because I did feel for the longest of time my uh, Pokemon team was falling behind. And this game is a little bit more merciless than your typical Pokemon game. If your team aren't really strong enough, they will realistically be two or three shot by anything that's a couple of levels above them or even sometimes below them if they're an alpha Pokemon. So this is the team I'm rocking. We've not got a perfect team because there is a bit of overlap. Bravery, for example, has a normal overlap with Snorlax. Gyarados has a flying overlap with Bravery. And uh, most, for the most part, Golem has been my favourite Pokemon so far, which is kind of unexpected. I am a bit of a sucker for the Gen 1 Pokies, as you can tell by the fact I've got four out of my six Pokemon are Gen 1ers. I, uh, no matter how hard I try to change my old ways, guys, I can't, <laughs> I can't help myself. I'm so bad for it, but um, regardless, I'm pretty happy with my team. Gyarados is, again, pretty weak compared to the others, but he should hopefully catch up a little bit. And uh, I say we just dive right into the story today and we'll just get going. I expect, based on what you guys told me, that we're going to be finishing the story in about an hour or two's time. So I say we just work on that, chillax with the game, chat with uh, with each other for a little bit, and then maybe do some of the extra stuff that's available at the end. But for the most part, I think I'm happy with my progress in Arceus, or Arceus so far, and uh, I'm kind of ready to put it to bed, I think. The last couple of days when I've been turning it on, I have been enjoying it for the most part playing through it with you guys. But um I think we're nearing the end of our um I think we're nearing the end of our tether with it to be honest. Let's go ahead and catch a magic carp. Because <clears throat> I don't have magic carp in my Pokedex yet, so we'll do that really quickly. Silent Taurus, welcome. Mr. G Dog, welcome. Great to see you, G Dog. How's it going, buddy? And uh, same to you, Silent Taurus. Nice to have you back again. You were here yesterday. It's probably better to do that later um, when you get the when you can get outbreaks, distortions, and better Pokeballs. Vince filling out the Pokedex. I'm assuming that's an answer to Vince. Let's go ahead and kill a Magic Carp here. Gasp! A wild Jack appears. G Dog, how's things, mate? Nice to see you. It's good to have you in the chat. Linda says I do really like the game, but I do think there are many things that could be done better. But I'm happy for the fact that they're trying something new, and I hope they will continue doing more like this, but better. But the old games are also really good. Yeah, Linda, that was a nice balanced diplomatic answer and I think a lot of people over the last couple of days I mean we've talked a, a bunch and a bunch and a bunch over and over again about this game and people have came in and asked me the whole time Jack what's your thoughts on Arceus are you enjoying it what do you think's good what do you think's bad we've talked about it a bunch and uh, like I said later on today I'm probably going to end up reviewing it a little bit um and then we will uh I'll give you my full thoughts then, but for the most part, there's a lot of ups and downs to this game. I'm not totally in love with it, but at the same time, it's also not the worst game I've ever played. And it does have its charming moments sometimes. Let's see if we can feed a magic carp here. Is he going to take that? Is he bothered about a nana berry? Or about a raspberry? You going to eat any of these? Does he, does he eat that? Is he going to... Crunchy salts, perhaps? I don't think he's going to eat any of these. Please, Magikarp, I need you to eat food. Are you stunned? Magikarp, you, you don't look like you're going to eat food. Maybe he, maybe because he sees me, it's not going to work. I'm not entirely sure. Well, Golem and Bulbasaur says G-Dog. Golem is best Pokemon. 
I've been quite happy with my, uh... <clears throat> oh my god, there's a regular Gyarados. I actually need to defeat one of those, so that might be a good way for us to start this off. He's flying, so... Uh, actually, I don't really know what would be a good matchup here against this guy. Let's just lead with, uh, Bravery here. Hurricane, it's a flying type move, but Bravery dodges, that's pretty good. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and use a regular... I guess we go for Air Slash? Not too much damage. Um, I wonder if we could do like a... I wonder if Brave Bird would kill. It probably would. Let's try it. It's a heavy attack, so... Do you still have PTSD from the Avalog fight? No, I think I'm over that. Which is good. Bravery's gonna take a bunch of damage here, but that's alright. We should get some decent XP for that. Um, I'm trying to feed the Magikarp, but it just doesn't seem to be working. Not entirely sure. Alright, let's not care about that too much. Is he gonna eat it? No? Fuck knows. What about the cherry berries? Will I eat that? Dude, this is painful. Okay. Woo! Alright, now that we've arrived, let's have a peek at the, uh, the inventory and heal. I don't know who we're going to be expected to fight here, but I'm pretty sure our team is strong enough at this stage, but only time will tell. Things are great being staying busy with classes, so going to enjoy a relaxing weekend, G Dog. That sounds awesome, mate, and I'm glad that you're doing good. <laughs> I hope school's been all right for you, mate. I hope you're getting through the February air, because February can be a bit chilly. Um, so yeah, how's things across the pond? Really good, yeah. They're they're gone not bad, G Dog. We've just been chilling, mate. There's not really much to report. We've just been doing our thing. But uh, it's nice to see you for sure. Cecil, so welcome as well. And what is the worst game you've ever played? Oh, that's a secret. That's a secret. I'll maybe tell you that one day. <coughs> He's gone back. <coughs> Just kidding. Looks a bit lazy in the dev team. This is Taurus. I think, uh, yeah, guys. I'm going to try and not discuss the game too much because I've done that a bunch over the last few days and I'm going to, again, review it later. So if I talk about it all, all over again, you know, from start to finish as of now to the end, it's going to get... Um, very boring and repetitive for you guys to listen to, so we can chat about it if you want. Just I'll try and save as much of my judgment for later when we actually kind of uh, wrap it up as best we can. I think we're gonna have to fight this guy, uh, and I would like to catch him if possible, but uh, I don't actually know if I have a decent amount of Pokeballs for this. I really don't look like I've got that much. I mean, I've got a bunch of heavy balls, that's what she said. Um, maybe I can make uh, some key items. The Leaden Balls. I guess I just make as many Great Balls as possible, which in this case is 9. And I pray that that's enough. Here we go. He's come by X2. <laughs> Alright. Somebody looks a bit pissed off. Here we go. Yesterday I was like, whoa, Jack is so dumb dumb. I never got launch... I'm never gonna launch a Pokeball at a tree, and I've just launched a Pokemon at a tree just now. Well, that's okay, Manning, because you're supposed to throw the Pokemon at the tree. Um, Gudra is here. He's level 58. He's pretty strong. Let's see if we can weaken this guy down a little bit. Um, all of our attacks are going to be not very effective, which is a bit scary, but we should be able to beat him up a little bit. Let's lead with Air Slash here. Am I able to catch these Pokemon, chat, or do I need to just defeat them? Holy fuck, that's going to be painful. Right, uh, i tell you what. Let's uh, use this opportunity to try and poison you. No, I don't want to throw a great ball. Fuck's sake, are you kidding me? Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can weaken him. We could probably poison him with Gengar, maybe. Is Gengar going to get one shot, though? Um, maybe I just keep attacking. Brave Bird would do a decent amount of damage. Maybe. All these attacks are not very effective. I guess he's just a strong Pokemon. Uh, sure. Alright, let's go. You can catch. A good player can catch. Oh, wow. Wait, put me on plus like that, Condor Fiend. Okay. Iron Tail is gonna hurt. We tank it, though. Just kidding. Hmm. 
let's go ahead and see if we can poison this guy. Alright, Mimo. I may be able to get a fast attack in here. Yeah, perfect. Let's go ahead and use... Oh, Jesus. Oh, I guess he, he might be a poison type. Okay, so this is kind of bullshit because I was... I was literally supposed to get two turns in a row, but I didn't. So the turn order just lied to me, which is an absolute classic. Why did it get... I was supposed to get two turns, you guys saw that in the turn order. Well, maybe you didn't actually, because my face may have been in the way. I was supposed to get two turns there, and uh, I didn't, and I don't know why. Which is a bit random, but uh, okay, I guess. I have no idea what just happened. Dragon Steel. Uh... I guess we could probably hit him with the triple arrows. Let's do one of these. Okay, a critical hit. Maybe a little bit more than I would like to. Um, right, I guess we just fucking go for it. I have no way of stunning it or putting it to sleep or anything like that, so it's a case of just throwing balls until it catches. <clears throat> Okay, nice. If we get some turns in here, that would be really cool. I don't think I can get it down into the red. I'm scared I kill it. Does the game just have a mashup of different generations? Uh, pretty much, yeah. I think there's 200 and something Pokemon in the game, so there's a decent variety. But it means that there's also 200 and something Pokemon that are not in the game. Defensive stats were returned to normal and it became obscured. Okay, let's just keep throwing great balls at it and pray. I don't know what the catch rate is on this, but I can't imagine it's very good. We'll try our best. But it is really in the hands of the RNG gods at this point. So he uses shelter. He seems to be trolling at the minute, which is really good. Okay, hydro pump coming through. It's gonna hurt. Okay. Um, Snorlax would be quite tanky here. Hopefully he can survive a couple of turns. <laughs> Look how big he is. Uh, I could probably try and weaken it some more, but like I'm so scared it's gonna die. Mm. 242 is the number, thanks. 14% with an Ultra Ball. I don't have any Ultra Balls. I don't even have access to Ultra Balls. Um, does its HP being lower matter? Like it... Sh like it traditionally does. So if he's in the red, does that give me a higher chance of catching than like if he's in the orange for example? I would assume it does. Agile style. That's not gonna do as much damage at least. This is gonna be a nightmare guys. We just have to try our best with the, the great balls. I don't have access to ultra balls. I never got them from the town. I don't know if that was an option for me. But I never had the chance. And now I'm like ostracized from the town so... We're a bit fucked. We'll give it a go though. You should get Stun Spore. I don't know where I'm going to get Stun Spore from at this point. This is so painful. Alright, Snorlax is doing a great job here. Do I have a uh, Sleep or anything? No, that would have been that would have been too handy. Alright, Gudra, come on mate. You can buy them at the guard. From the guard at the camp though, okay nice. Sure. I don't think we survived this. Dragon Pulse is going to be pretty strong. Alright, I guess. Sure. Golem. Pretty bad matchup for us here. Golem's going to get one shot by Hydro Pump. Almost guaranteed. Uh, so we have to just pray. Come on, game. We've given it a good few chances. If an Ultra Ball is 14%, I have to assume a Great Ball is like like 8% or something. Pokeball is probably 5%. Dragon Pulse is used. I think that's a special attack. Okay. Sure, do I get another chance here? I do. Alright, this is my second last, my second last chance. Because I think Gyarados will only get, only get one shot. Hmm. We were talking about this a little bit yesterday. Okay, so he decided to use Shelter. That's pretty good. Uh, I could try and kill him, I guess, but I really do want to try and catch him. Oh, never mind, he's getting two turns. You need more stars to be able to craft the Ultra Balls, yeah. I thought there would be something like that holding us up. 
I right, got it, those last chance to win, buddy. Um, I guess. Everybody pray for me. I don't know what percentage it is, I'm just a twat. Oh, okay. Thanks. Well, RIP. Garados survives. One more shot. It's so painful, dude. I don't know, guys. We've seen a lot of this over the last few days, and I just... I just can't put into words how fucking... How dumb it is. I just can't put into words. It's very Resident Sleeper. Not a good start. Well, at least we tried. There's nothing I could have done better there. Zero. I'll go back to the town, I'll rest, and I'll buy... Uh, well, I don't need to rest, actually. I'll see if I can afford Ultra Balls from the guy. So even though I can't craft them, maybe our Ultra Balls will give us better chances. I get a petal and evolve it. I mean, I could, but like... Sounds like a lot of work. Yeah, I don't have access to Ultra Balls. Which is really unfortunate, so I guess my stars also determine how many, like, whether I can buy Ultra Balls as well. Which kind of sucks. Um, let's go ahead and buy, like, ten. Okay. So, uh, yeah, no, no Ultra Balls, unfortunately. We could get Hypnosis with uh, Gengar and try that, maybe. If Gengar doesn't get one shot. I'll give that a go. I get a petal and evolve it and dump tea. What, what do you mean by dump tea? Oh, you mean like dump the my starter Pokemon? You, you can't mean that, Jcram. Thank you. Sorry, there's a sock block in the door. That was unintentional. Master's giving Dobby a sock, I know. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. I mean it. Jcram, no. Uh, how did we damage him last time? We used uh, Bravery, but it wasn't really that great. How do we get this guy weak? You guys said he was Steel Dragon? I don't think Garados has any Dragon-type moves, do I? Let's see. Check moves. Hurricane is flying, Twister. He's got Dragon, I he's got a uh, Twister, but I mean, Twister is not exactly ideal. Fuck it. Let's give it a go. You can use fighting type moves. Yeah, I know, we did. We literally just used, we just used fighting type moves on him to get him low. Unfortunately, we crit him. Or I could have probably hit him twice. I forgot about Hypnosis, yeah. Alright, do I get... Is, is Garajos just, I think it might just be sacrificed to the void here. Okay, well, let's do, uh, let's do Twister. In fact, Twister is negated by something. Alright, actually, no, that sucks. Let's go for uh, a crunch attack. Alright. Chiller. He's probably going to do a follow-up turn here, by the way, just FYI. He should get, yeah, I think he's going to get two in a row. So I think what we do is we send out our fighting type now and try and punch him a little bit. Yeah, send out Tay. Punch him once or twice, we should get a couple of turns here. Um, so if I do... Oh, I can't even do like a weak version. Let's just do regular triple arrows and see how much damage it does. So we, we probably want to do like one more of those. If it crits though, we're going to kill him accidentally. And then we just have to pray. Alright, Ghidra. You're putting up quite the fight here, my dude. Um, I'm scared that if I do a strong attack, we're going to crit him. But it should be perfect. As long as we don't crit him, it should be fine. If we crit him, he's dead. This is kind of risky. Okay, never mind. It was fine. He wasn't even close to being killed. Sure. Offensive stats were raised, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what the obscure thing is. 
can we sneak in a really weak triple arrows here? I think we can. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh, it missed because of the obscure. Okay, shit. Fantastic. Okay. Alright. I guess we try again. We're gonna have multiple chances with Snorlax, so... Maybe, uh... Maybe I could hit him once with Snorlax. I think it would be fine. Craft bear items. The more stars you have and it makes it easier to catch Pokemon. Yeah, I got you, Limbo. Thank you. Totally understand, guys. GG's. Uh, okay, Fire Punch should be pretty weak. I don't think this kills him. Oh my god, you're fucking kidding me. Isn't that just absolutely typical? That's gonna kill him. That's gonna kill him. Right, I got one chance at this. I think, uh... Can I use an item to cure his burn, guys? Like, can I give him a burn heal or something? Uh, fit a Pokemon to cure his paralysis, poisoning. I guess you can't feed these to the enemies. That is absolutely tragic. I guess we got one chance. A Rastberry? I don't know if I have any. I don't even know if I could give one to him. Because my backpack's so small, I've dumped a lot of those items, which is really unfortunate. I guess we just go for it. He's got a burn and he's very low HP. I just we I guess we just pray. It's very unlikely, but you never know. Please. One time. RIP. Well that's really upsetting. Oh man, after all the pain and misery. Well, Pokemon Arceus just continues to make me happy. At every possible turn. That's the way, Wolfie. Thanks, Adamant. Okay, sure. All F4. I honestly want to take my Switch and throw it out of the window. Oh, hello. Oh, I remember these things. I remember this. Fuck it, dude. I'm committed at this point. I ain't give a fuck. I don't know what this Pokemon's called, but I remember seeing this inside of the, uh... What's the space-time rift that you visit with the guy in PokeMMO? Giratina. These guys are in, Girat in with Giratina, right? Are we having fun, kids? Always lawless, you know it. This is why we saved Jack LMAO. I think I'd rather take a shit on myself than load this game up and do that fight again. So it speaks from its mind straight to yours. Makes sense for a Pokemon that embodies an aspect of mind. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? I think I got ill. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? It was heartening. So heartening. Lawless, how are you doing tonight? What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? We're so different. I hate them. What did you feel when cast out of Team Galaxy? Life is complicated. I felt bitter. I accepted that they were trash anyway. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Alright, thanks. Thanks, Budget, budget Mew. Oh, wow. I got an envelope. Or is that a part of a pizza? Miss Brit's Plume. Sure. At this point, I am feel like now that I've missed one of the Pokemon that I was supposed to catch, I think I just kill them all. To keep it, you know, even and stuff. All good, just chilling with Mrs. Law. She has, oh, while Mrs. Law has her siesta. She's having a siesta at 20 past 6 in the afternoon. I guess uh, that's when you have a siesta, right? Is it an afternoon? Well, the world's full of mysteries. I, get, I always assumed you'd take a siesta at like, you know, half 11 or something. But, uh... I guess, I guess 20 past 6 works as well. <laughs> Alright, Adam, and thanks for being utterly useless like every other part of the game. Fucking pain in I cannot believe... I cannot believe I fire punched that thing once and it immediately got caught with a burn. Like, that is just so typical. So fucking typical. Looks like that worked out well, Wolfie. Gotta admit, you sure know plenty about Hisui, Volo. 
That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led to this particular prison, or more accurately, uh, or more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. Oh, have you been eating all those good mushrooms again? The ones that Benny found out back? Do you want to return to Mistress Kogita's home? Uh, sure, I guess. Do we need to go back to the, the, the home every single time? I thought we were going to go to each of the lakes. Do we need to go back and do a status report in between every every version? Okay, sure. How long is this ship? Uh, I think we're done today. Yeah, I don't think we have long left. I don't think we have long left at all, though. So the legend is told is true. The red chain must be real as well. I guess, but this all makes no sense to me. These Pokemon represent our minds and they'll give us this thing and uh, it'll let us bind the world and solve all this mess, but how? Why? Your doubts suggest a keen intellect. I see, uh, I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, where, uh, where the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? Honestly, that's a fucking blessing at this point. Just kill me. Take me out of my misery. Such are myths, or such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Shut up, Volo, you simp. I'm sorry, Volo, but I've told you a million times you're not going to get to hit it from the back. Get wrecked, Volo, you scrub. Alright, have my Pokemon all been healed? Yeah, they have. All my Pokeballs are gone because the fucking shitey Pokemon that I was trying to catch ate them all. So now I guess we just go and uh, help one of the lakes, I guess? I guess we have to go to every single lake in between, is that right? That's so dumb. Uh, sure. We're gonna have to do like an in-between... Hey, we went and defeated that one. We're gonna go back out and defeat the other one now. Alright, I, I will try and catch these Pokemon individually, guys. I will. It pains me that we didn't get that one, but honestly, at the same time, I just don't care anymore. I'm so over it. I'm so done. I, uh... I, I did throw... In total, right, at that, that Gudra, whatever it's called, I threw probably close to 15, uh, 15 Great Balls at it. When it was in the orange. So, I mean, if I can't catch that, it's, it's whatever, dude. I've tried... I've tried, I don't want to put more energy in it, I just cannot be bothered. I'm certainly not loading the game back up. Um, despite the fact it goes against my very gaming core. I just think, you know, if if the odds of catching that Pokemon are so low that 15 Great Balls won't do the trick, 20 Great Balls won't, won't do the trick, I just don't even care. I just don't even care anymore. I get that it's an important Pokemon, so it's not supposed to be easy to catch, but at the same time, I have a life. Just kidding, that was a lie. Let's go this way. Alright, where's my bird? Alright, we're going in. What's up, boys? Alright. Do you know about the Lake Valor? I don't care. Yeah, 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 we get it. It's important. I'm going in. Hmm. Are you feeling better today, Law? Okay. Done. A cave appears. In we go, Wolfie. Alright. Let's see what we're up against. Oh my god, it's a quillfish. Hello. It's like the big ultimate puffer fish from uh, Super Auto Pets. I saw you posted about Super Auto Pets in the uh, in the Discord, Eugene, but I didn't actually read what the updates were. Is there some spicy changes coming? I guess we try and change Gengar's moves, do we? Uh, change moves. Let's go ahead and take out... I guess we take out Dark Pulse. Oh, there's Shadow Ball finally turned up as well. I can pick up that. That's really good. Um, I'll take up Hypnosis instead of Dark Pulse. For the time being, and I'll probably change it back later. 
which means Gengar doesn't want to be the lead uh, for this Pokemon because I want to get it low and then I want to try and put it to sleep after. So I don't even know what this Pokemon is, but try using the heavy balls. I might, Linda, yeah, I might. I used the heavy balls yesterday and we decided that they were bad because they're supposed to be for sneaking, I think, but I, I am swapping between them, trying to uh, test them both. Okay, Double Edge is gonna over Quill. Let's go ahead and uh, crunch this guy. Aqua Tail? Yeah, we can probably help with a strong Aqua Tail. I don't think that's ever gonna kill. Super Auto Pets is being played at the moment. I hate it here. Oh no. Gene, I'm sorry. What were the changes? Is there anything exciting being added to the game or is it all just meh? What's the deep blue fucking. What in the deep blue fuck is that thing? Uh, an important Pokemon, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what he's supposed to be. What's happened with the regular Brave Bird? I could probably. I could probably justify a strong one here, but. I think this is fine. There we go. Right. If we can get Gengar out and catch this thing, I will try. Uh, if we can put it to sleep, ideally that would be great. I did try and put the last... I tried to poison the last Pokemon, but because it was Steel-type or whatever, or Ground or whatever, we couldn't poison it. So that was kind of shitty. Uh, let's go ahead and do a 90% Hypnosis. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to lose Gengar here, I think. Oh, very close. Right, uh, no, I don't want to throw a Pokeball. I think we uh, we go for the Heavy Ball. We'll try it then. We'll do it. take Linda's advice here. I think the main thing is this time we have the Pokemon in the red and we have it asleep as well, so... Nice. Okay. That was relatively painless. Hmm. Okay. Sure. Alright. Fine. Well, at least we got one of them, I guess. That's my Wolfie. Be quiet, Adamant. Don't even speak to me. A mysterious presence. Oh, it's the uh, the other little floaty guy. Yeah, yeah. His name is Monkey. Show me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. I'd rather not. Oh, well. Bombs. Oh. Sure, I guess. What's the dealio here? Alright. You memeing me, bro? You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? Uh, I'm not through with this yet. I wonder if there's a, like a trick to this where you have to be persistent or if I went right through him. Is this one of these illusion of choice things guys where we have to keep doing it or like is our determination going to shine through and he's going to take pity on us or uh, it seems you had best to give up will you continue regardless. I guess we stay persistent and see if it's a best of three rule. I don't even know if I want to catch this Pokemon. I'm assuming it's going to lend itself to me as like a freebie. Alright, what now? <sighs> you seem to hear a, hear a voice inside your head again. Give up. Your struggle is in vain. Will you press on? Okay, here we go. Wait, really? It says they'll tease the new art on their Twitter, change some of the sound effects and stuff, and they're going to work on their iOS release. Okay, cool. Take this piece of spirit to bind the world once more. Wow. Okay, that's like one of the bits we got earlier. As Elf's Fang, sure. Thanks, buddy. 
Just one more to go. I guess we go back to the old lady and talk to her now. Is that right? Okay, sure. Hopefully they heal my Pokemon when I get back. Alright. I assume all went well. Still, I wonder, uh, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why, what about all this running around? I guess I can think of two reasons to keep the chain safe and to test us. Perhaps you're right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands after all. Sure. Alright. Maybe Vol is the bad guy. Alright. Wonderful. Let's go back. On to the mistress once more. Talk some pish and then move on, I guess. Hmm. G-Dog, have you been playing any games in your downtime or have you just been studying the whole time? Getting any more Red Dead in or anything like that? Anything exciting? As else fang, I sense uh, a warmth to it. Sure. Okay. What makes you say so? Why don't you say so? Didn't even notice. Volo is a stinker. Catching legendary pokes. Why don't you say it so? Right, I'm out, bro. To the third and final lake, lads. Take me away from here. Oh! Man. Yeah, I actually hit uh, chapter 5 in Guarma last night, about 165 hours in. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Guarma is such a random part of the game. Um, apparently, although I didn't play a lot of Red Dead Redemption 1, apparently in Red Dead Redemption 1, you do something similar where at one point or another, they just take you away to a random location for a couple hours and then take you back after. And I think that the Guarma part of Red Dead 2 is like a kind of nod to that in the first game, apparently. Again, I don't really know Red Dead 1 all that well, but I, that's, that's what I hear anyway. Uh, Guarma's a really cool area. It was so random, I didn't expect it. Because the whole game is this kind of western area, right? Like the open plains of the US. And then Guarma's suddenly this tropical jungle. And it's like, holy shit, I just I just did not expect this environment in a game in a game like this. But it's uh it's cool. It's really cool. There's like a fucking hidden cave over here. You guys noticed this before? What is this? Are you double checking the requests? Can I uh, get somebody to fuck that up? I guess. God, I hated Guarma. Why are you saying that, Law? You didn't hate Guarma. That part of the game was really short. You can't. It's not long enough for you to hate it. What are you talking about? <laughs> It wasn't that bad. I think it was a good bit. I don't want to say what happens because we'll keep it spoiler free, obviously, for G Dog and anybody else who's not played it. But I thought Guarma was alright. It's a bit weird losing all your guns and stuff, but you know, it's, it's not that bad. It's a short, sharp kind of change of pace. Making sure I don't miss any side missions at all. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's just go this way. I. Really wish it was the back buttons to flick through my drivable creatures. I think R2 and L2 would have been so much better as buttons, because then I could do it on the move. You know what it says Y to def like Y. Oh shit! See what it says like Y to ascend. If I push that, what does he do? Does he scale it fast? No, 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 no! Don't get off, get off, get off, go. See if I push like Y when he's like standing still. What does it do? Does it do anything? Oh, he just hooks in. Okay. Hey, Ragnar. What's up, buddy? Never played number one either, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah. Ever notice how watching a stream is highly romantic? You listen to them talk for hours. Oh, hey, Ragnar. How's it going? We're going in. Ah, uh, it was total trash. I missed my horse and I was stuck hanging out with a bunch of arseholes. It was like five hours long minimum. Do you think I'm made of time, Rockstar? Lawless, there's no way. There's no way that segment lasted five hours. There's no way. It was like an hour. 
You don't need it. You don't even need to travel. It's like a scripted rails event. What the hell? <laughs> oh man. I did actually forget that was in the game though. I really did. I forgot all about it. Arc phone's beeping. Alright, we're gonna hold up. Scan our contactless debit card. It's gonna give us access to the penthouse. Wow. I don't know how my arc phone communicates with a boulder like this. It makes no sense. A tool that can uh, that makes caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. You're not getting it. Volo, it's mine. It's my phone. Okay. Well, we've got a strategy. Who are we up against this time? Oh, what in the name of fuck, dude. Dude, that, that looks like the creature from Bloodborne that you fight at the end. Only slightly more colourful. What in the hell? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Hello, sir! He looks evil. Who is hotter, Jack Vol or Adam? And who would you rather bonk? Honestly, I kind of hate both of them equally, Kakwa. I feel like they would be incompetent in every sense of the bedroom antics. Which is absolutely fine, you know? You don't have to always be partying with rock stars, but like... I don't even know, man. Alright, uh, crunch. Strong style. Let's go. We're gonna sacrifice Gary for this one. Oh, perfect. Absolutely calculated down a T. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that shit? I knew there was a reason I was keeping Gyarados a low level. Alright, Mima, let's go. Don't get one shot, please. I would like to be able to take a turn here. Thank you. Fight. We're gonna use Hypnosis with 90% accuracy. And we're gonna miss. Perfect. Great. I love RNG. I love it. So fun, dude. 90%. 90%! Great. Just when it was all going so well. Thanks, Pokemon. You're telling me the Ancient Cave Guardian boss is weaker than some random ass alphas running around in the overworld? I don't know if he's weaker. This guy seems extremely fast. The only thing is now I haven't been able to put him to sleep or anything, so if I throw Pokeballs at this piece of shit and it doesn't work, then uh, we're up the creek, I guess. The heavy ball was pretty good last time, uh, so I guess we lead with that again. Hi, Catquarn Jesse. Felt like five hours. Pray. Oh no. Hold. Nasty plot. That's a buff move, right? Sure. Snorlax, hold, buddy, hold. I'm gonna bonk it from the back. That's what she said. Hold steady. Pokeball somehow materialized in front of the uh, Pokemon there. Oh, there's two throws. Two throws down, boys. Hold. Agile style, that's gonna be weak. Snorlax, you can tank it. You're a beast. I'm, I'm glad we brought Snorlax along for this. He makes a very good uh, Teddy for sponging the damage. Alright, heavy ball number three, four. Hey, nailed it. We'll be back in a few hours. Gotta go check on the pups. Alright, G-Duck, have a good, uh, a good evening, a good afternoon, sir. Alright, GG. Sad to see Garados die, but Garados was really effective there. That was good. Sweet. Knew you could do it, Wolfie. Yeah, okay, mate. You feel a mysterious presence. That's probably just... Oh, Erido? Oh, never mind. Oh, just a few minutes is all. Oh, okay, okay. I got you. My B. Not trying to shove you out the door, G-Dog. Come, I will test your knowledge. Oh, shit. What is the capital of France? Uh, Moscow? Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. I'm ready. Wait, what was the question? Enter your answers together as a series. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't actually know what he said. Uh, can you say that again, please? Answer me. Oh, wait. What, what did you say? Just give me the riddle again, mate. It's the first time in the entire game that I've been expected to understand what's actually going on. Come, test. All right, here we go, guys. Knowledge. Combi, Zuba, uh, unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Uh, sure. 
How many are their eyes? Tell me each one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Uh, could you repeat it, please? Combi? Combi has... How many faces does Combi have, guys? Is it one or is it three? Zuba has two eyes, and Unknown has one eye. That's three. Magneton has three eyes. Does it? Dusclops has two. Or does Dusclops have one? Zubat has two eyes, eh? Does Zubat have no eyes? Wait, what? 60131. Zubat equals zero. Oh, I guess because it's a bat, technically, because it's blind. So do you have to add them all together? Combi has six. 60131. Unknown has one. Magneton has three. Dusclops has one. Okay, sure. Uh, sure. Okay, thanks, chat. I'll believe. Oh, shit. 60131. Thank you, Ilanari. Appreciate that. Welcome to the stream. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Honestly, I would have fucked up numerous times had you guys not been here, so uh, much love, gang. Uh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> Look at the main character. Look how gobsmacked he is at, re at receiving this. This floating envelope or whatever the fuck it is. Ixie's Claw. He's just received two of these in a row and we were going to the third and final location. Surely at this point he would have had a bit of an inclination as to what he was going to receive from the uh, mystical Pokemon. Would you really be this gobsmacked? I mean, what were you expecting him to hand you? A pizza? Okay, apparently Zubat's got no eyes. Dude, I've seen many Zubats in my day, but I uh, I spent a lot of my time crying about them appearing and getting supersonic used on me non-stop, so... I guess I've not been paying attention to their uh, their optical peepers. Mm. It seems we've finished the three lake trials. You say we, Volo, like you did anything here. I did pl pretty much 100% of the work, so uh, yeah. Is there really a team dynamic happening, or are you guys just along for the ride? What's happening? Well, Jack, you are the main character, and therefore we're going to do absolutely fuck all. But then I'm sure that once the uh, once that history remembers us, uh, Volo and Adam and I'll go down as heroes in the history books as well, despite being fucking dead weight. Maybe that's a bit harsh. At least Adam and looks good. The shroud. What is in Volo's rucksack anyway? What's he got in there? Probably a corpse of his last girlfriend or something. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things, it's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're somehow to bring this world to the humans, the, um, together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. Maybe we need some hardcore drugs, Volo, am I right? Just kidding, don't do drugs. <gasps> oh, hello! How did you get up here, old lady? I rode my Dragonite, of course. You've got a Dragonite? Yes, I bought it on eBay many years ago. It's a bit old and rusty, but it does the trick. Isn't that right, Bongo? Dragonite. Bongo looks like he's gonna die. Have you been feeding him and keeping him happy? No, I keep him in my garage. Dragonite. Oh. Well, well, well. Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. Oh, no. I've seen this in Dragon Ball Z once. They're going to fuse and make uh, Vegeta Goku Mark III. Oh, my God. The red chain. Fantastic. Now I can build a push bike. What do you mean you have Prince Sidon and your trusty fairy na navy with you? They're very helpful. One gives gr advice, the other one tries to look pretty for you. Thanks, Ragnall, for trying to see the best in shit characters. At last I can set the burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Wolfie. Well, what can I say? You guys didn't see me kill the accidental first legendary Pokemon inside the cave, did you? Yeah, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the the Ginkgo Guild. 
It seems the commander is going to forgo waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet by himself. That fool. What's he even thinking? He wants to be the main character like Wolfie. But he's too old to be the main character. Plus, he doesn't put his jacket on properly. His arms don't go through the sleeves. He must think that makes him more powerful. And for the most part, he's correct. But not in reality. Kagita, Red Chain, time to be Simon Bellman and kill Dracula. Wow. Valkyrie with the classic references, I like it. I don't feel like you're taking this very seriously, Jack. What are you talking about, Lawless? I'm going to save the world. Akari! Wolfie, it's me, Akari, remember? I'm the filler character from the very beginning. I guess I could have been your rival at one point in the development, but then they opted to make me shit, just like everyone else. Anyways, wait here a minute, will you? I'll go and let the captain know you're back. Oh, please don't. Not Silene. Anyone, anyone but Silene. Oh God, Professor. Oh, my dear Wolfie. Yes, the, prof the professor's still wearing this exact same hat. I've told you, I'm not taking it off. I lost a bet. Professor, this is getting way out of control. The world's about to end. Just take it off and show us. I know people have said that you're bald, but that's okay. It's worse than that. I'm Ginger. Anyways, the commander's gone? Oh, the commander's the guy with the... Yeah, he's commando, okay. Well, he set out to, to Mount Coronet with the security corps in tow. He's determined to handle the whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. And that's why I was filling in for the regular guards, and then letting them fill in me. Akari, that's disgusting. What age are you, like 12? I'm 19 in the lore. Bidoof is the strongest of them all. Ebonomics, hello. Nice to see you. So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Silene, I swear to God, I will kick you in the nuts. Thanks, Captain. I owe it to... Oh, for fuck. Dude, why can't I just say it's fine, I'm God tier? Who do I have to... I can either thank the Captain that did nothing for me, or I can thank Adamant, who did nothing for me. Uh, sure, I guess. Adamant, yeah, my boy. No doubt your past deeds earned you any more, uh, any help you may have received. Before moving forward, I must ask, would you like to bang me across this desk? Uh, Silene, maybe we should just pretend that question never happened and tell you about the red chain that I found. Here. Okay, well, we'll uh, come back to that topic at a later time. Go on, tell me about this red chain. If you guys look closely, once her hand moves, it looks like she's got an Abra tail sticking out of her ass. That's so funny. You explained about the red chain you obtained. A legendary tool set to bind the very world. And create the ultimate push bike. Commando, Commander Kamado is no longer here in the Jubilee Village. What a shame. Hopefully he dies. I mean, uh, what? Did I say that? Security Corp has been scouting the area near the Rift Time space and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled, you guessed it, a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security car to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. Between them, they've got two spears and a crossbow. Okay, and what if that Pokemon's a Tyranitar, Silene? Well, in that case, they're absolutely fucked. Right, well, uh, Wolfie, yeah, that's me. Take the red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak and put an end to this. You're officially reinstated at your former rank. Oh yeah, now that you need me. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. Now that, now that I've done everything, and absolutely everything, to save this planet, Earth, and Kingdom. You're, you're, you're giving me my rank back? Oh, thanks. You perilous fucking pussies. Look at them! Where's the fucking gratitude? They should be kissing my feet. Not that I need that. Are you the certain, uh, are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? I don't give a fuck. I'm Silene. If he didn't wish me to decide things in this place, then he should not have left me in charge here. And Akari, if you ever mention my fucking authority, or question any of my powers again, I'll have you taken out into the street and flawed naked. I would love that. Be quiet, Akari. We're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Now everybody put their hands on the middle and shout Wildcats on three. That's an order. One, two... Okay, will Jack go take a cold shower? Un shower il fait froid. Right, there's a small kid, as if, as if this kid has a request for me. Can I make a, oh, I, I guess I can't make algebras yet, can I? 
The small child has a request. I can't ignore her. She's too cute. We're all in this to Cece! Hey, what's the Pokemon up there? What's its name? What's it do? Cece, don't look. It'll kill you. But I want to look. Oh, that's a Magikarp. Why is it called Magikarp? Is it cool, a Pokemon? Is it strong? Can it fly? It's pretty cool, yeah. What part of it? Tell me which part of it is cool. Tell me more, please. Uh, I'm going to learn about Magikarp, right? Uh, sure, honestly, yeah. Is this just one of these show off or fuck? Honestly, I expected more from you, CC. Um, all right, fine. I guess we uh we push on, boys. Can I uh dude, I don't care. Let's just go. Let's just fucking go. All these people that fucking cast me out and now they need my help. They're suddenly welcoming me back in with open arms. It's disgusting. There you are, Wolfie. Erida's already headed to Mount Cornet. How's things looking there? The commander's already at the mountain. Yeah, we know. We know already. It's Evolve is pretty cool, says Andy. Hello, Andy. He's already started up the mountain. He must be more reckless than the, than the dignified manner. He must be more reckless than his dignified manner of his. Of his. Let's, uh, let's on. Not that I can blame anyone for wanting to avoid wasting time. Well, all right. Guess I'm going after him. Wait, Adamant, are you trying to tell me for the first time in the entire game you're going to do something of use to this team? Let me go first, Wolfie. If you were to show up with no warning, there'd probably be a fight. Time's a-wasting. See you there. Hmm. Who is the reckless one? Oh my god, Cece. The true villain. Is that Cell in disguise? Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to find a way to help us all? I know, it's disgusting. Oh, there we go, we nod. He's wealthy, he's the main character, and that means that no matter how hard he gets fucked in the ass, he's gonna help everyone. Isn't that right, Wolfie? And I have told him a million times that I hated him, but he still helps anyway. What a fucking bitch. Honestly, I just want to get back to my real time so I can go back to living my life as a pimp. Thanks, here, take this. Cece, hand you a Glock 9. Oh, a Max Revive. Cece, are you trying to imply that I'm going to fucking die out here? What, what are you handing me a Max Revive for? What kind of fucking bad manners is this? You mean as well just say, I expect you to fail. Here's for when it happens. Why not just fucking hand me a funeral plan? What the fuck? How about you take this and shove up your ass? Dad, he's mean. There's a two FPS Mr. Mime in the background. Your orders are three. Wait a minute, what? One. Make for the summit camp. And from there, the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red change to resolve this mess. And three, subscribe to my OnlyFans. I mean three, return here alive. Okay, Commander, sure. Your will is my command, I guess. It looks so off when they zoom in the, and then the characters, they absolutely blurry the textures are in the clothing. Oh boy. Honestly, I'm over it. Oh, here's Volo coming in. Hey, Volo. Hey, guys, it's me, Volo, the character that turns up randomly every single time we're leaving or going somewhere. I pretend like I'm traveling, but honestly, I do absolutely nothing. I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions from... Wait, Volo, are you kidding me? Oh my god, he just gave me something. Volo, I take back everything I just said about you. You're not that bad of a guy. Thank you. Although, again, the healing item's gonna be him. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last. No doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn the red chain. Oh my god, we're going up to the flying pizza in the sky. Perfect. Both Adamin and Irida have headed to the peak as well. Honestly, I hope this is like... Uh, I hope this is going to be like the ending of the Northern Lights where like... In fact, maybe I shouldn't talk about it. Hmm. Maybe that would be spot... Oh no, not you. Please tell me. She oh, Melly's behind me. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here. For moral support, at least. Yeah, great Melly, thanks. Why did that... What What even was that interaction? Melly just walks up and says, By the way, I'm here. Remember me? Yeah, you know how I talked about how I was great earlier and I'm so important and I'm also a, c a commander of my clan, warden of the realm? 
I'm just gonna do fuck all like everybody else. Yeah, cool. Sweet. Sure, I guess. Dude, like, what are these characters actually doing other than following me around and telling me what to do? I finally got a max potion from Volo. That's kind of good. Let me just check this crowbar real quick. Have I defeated one of you? No, I haven't. We're going to defeat one right now. We'll see how strong this is and get some last minute XP. Gligar used Mud Bomb. Mad respect for using Golem, also great Pokemon. I'll tell you, Golem has actually been carrying really hard in this game. He's actually sick. No word of lie. Uh, I'm going to use this here. Get fucked, Gligar. That's got a kill. It's times two damage and it's a stab attack with Gyarados. There's no way. I hate my life. Gligar must be tanky as fuck. I came in here because I wanted XP, but uh, it looks like it's not happening. Um, let's see. Who do we want to send out? t is fighting. That's probably not that great. Let's send out the bird. I'm gonna do a swap here. Fuck melee. Are you over it though? Well, Jesse, it's more of a like if you say enough of the same thing out loud over and over again, you'll eventually convince yourself. Alright, let's go ahead and use uh, Air Slash Brave Bird on that guy. Kill him. Please die. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a bit of damage to that and then hopefully we don't die to this little fucker. Mud Bomb misses, that's fantastic news. Okay, can we get an Air Slash in here? Nice. Agile style. Win shuriken jutsu. Get fucked. Now we can do a heavy one. Finish this off and head to bed. Nice. Okay, good shit. I'm kind of uh, worried about the fact that we kind of got our ass clapped by two random Gliger in the field though. We're heading to the final destination as if we're going to be able to handle it, and yet I don't know if my team is actually strong enough despite all the grinding we did yesterday. Um, a hyper potion for Gary. Okay, and a super potion for you. Right, for the love of God. Uh, holy fuck, dude, that's an Electrovive. Oh, and an Ellie kid as well. Woo! Ow. Don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me. Hold still, Ellie kid. Do it. Can I not? Oh, I hate this game. Sending him a bird Pokemon into the electric was a mistake, but I didn't have time to change. Don't do it! I hate my life so much. Golem, go. Alright. Here he is, the hard man himself. Yeah, fuck you, Ellie kid. You like that? You think you're a fucking laugh, mate? Absolutely not. Right, I don't want to one-shot this thing. Uh, I could use self-destruct for the for the memes. I think a regular rock slide will be fine. I hate my life. Did I mention that this game annoys me regularly? There's an evil Electabuzz. Uh, sure. All I wanted to do was catch the Ellie Kid. Is that too much to ask? I just wanted to catch the Ellie Kid. Hi, I'm back again. The Chosen One, you remember me? Yeah, I went up the mountain and fought two Pokemon and then my team's destroyed. The NPCs are stalking you around so they can take the credit for your work. We did it. Yeah, I know. Emphasis on the Wii. Bunch of fucking cocks. Alright, let's try this again. I like the buzz. Don't even look at me. Dude, I kind of want to try and match up against the, uh... I kind of want to try it, dude. 69. We can't not fight him. Hey, buddy. Do you use a thunder... Hyper Beam? Golem, no! Oh, God, Golem. Uh, Bulldoze would be pretty insane here. Only does 60 damage, but... With a little bit of pixie dust here. We can do 75, 100% accuracy. And uh, we actually don't lose more than a turn here, so... I might even be able to tank another hit from him if I get lucky. Strong style, never mind. Hyper Beam, no, Dude, where was his recharge turn? Nice try, Golem. Come back, you did well. 
You took two of those bad boys. All right, Snorlax, go. I am gonna try and catch this. I know it's very unlikely that we get it, but I mean, maybe uh, maybe we use like a. Oh no, the fire punch is gonna fuck us again. Let's use Crunch. See if we can take him into the red here. Oh, perfect. Snorlax, you're a god. Okay, let's use a heavy ball. Maybe we can catch this in a one and done situation. Although, when this thing's level 69, it's probably going to be an absolute bolly to catch, isn't it? Oh, I was going to say, wouldn't that be so nice to just get it first try? Yeah, yeah, okay, so you're really insane. Agile still. Thunder Punch. We tank those, right, Snorlax? We tank those. We don't tank another one, though. He just, yeah, just hit me twice. Why not? Uh, okay, I mean, Gyarados is pretty much fucked here. I could try and put it to sleep if I'm fast enough. I missed this last time. Let's try it anyway. Uh, Hypnosis has a 90% accuracy. I just used this move and it missed. And it missed again. I don't understand, dude. I don't understand how I can lose a 90% flip twice in a row. That is insane. Like, shockingly bad. To the point where I'm starting to question whether it's rigged. Come on to fuck, bro. I lose the 1 in 10 twice in a row, back to back. Like, what are the odds? Uh, right, well. Great, I guess. That's some real fucking pain right there. Catch? One time? No? Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yep, okay, we get it. You're a big badass. Fuck me. Uh, bravery, sure. What do we think, chat? Do we keep with the heavy balls or do we swap across to the great balls? I don't know if the great balls are considered better than the heavy balls. I think at this point he's so high level that the catch rate must be extremely low. Real pain I feel right now. True pain. I'm tempted to just kill it honestly. Like the odds of me catching this are so low. I'm kind of tempted to just give Garados the XP. so annoying dude. This game pisses me off to no end. <sighs> Ridiculous. It should, be, it should not be this hard to catch a fucking Pokemon. I don't give a fuck if it's a special super legendary fucking... I don't care if it can fucking backflip a hundred times in a row or cook an omelette while fucking doing a handstand. This is bullshit. Utterly wasting my time. Yes. I think, do you know what would be nice if they could put in some sort of mini game into the catching so that like there was any kind of like skill expression when catching these Pokemon instead of just literally spinning the lottery roulette wheel. It's so fucking painful, man. Okay. That's not even a skill shot, dude. Fucking hit scan Electabuzz. <laughs> Knocking me off my horse. What the fuck is that? Alright. Uh, I didn't even get that much XP for defeating that thing. You know that. I got one, like one level for Garados. Which is pretty miserable. Alright, anyways. In we go. I did want to catch the uh, Electa boy there, but I lost. Fate said no. Oh, who are we going to have to fight here? Are we going to have to do some 1v1s? Hey, bud. It's me, yo mama. Oh, is that Benny? That better not be fucking Benny. Oh my god, dude. The real antagonist, dude. Benny was behind it all the whole time and he would have almost gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for this meddling main character. Benny, all he wanted was to increase his fucking recipe for his potato mochi. And that's why he's doomed the world to darkness. I knew he was living in Satan's butt crack. Sorry about being uh, the shutter 
Sorry about having to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. Yeah, I bet, Benny. You fucking evil bastard. But that taskmaster, uh, Kamado's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put in, put these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time to get rid of you once and for all. Benny, are you fucking serious, bro? <laughs> Benny, are you really gonna... Are you really gonna get in my way? I'll make myself plain. As Kamado's right hand... Wait, Kamado's right hand? Aren't you the fucking... Literally the bottom rung of the chef culinary tree in The Sims? Benny, are you fucking having a laugh? <laughs> I can't believe the potato guy is the fucking... F He's the fucking lieutenant of the boss, dude. Oh my god, Annie's a fucking ninja. What the fuck is the oh, Jesus Christ. What am I fucking watching? Benny's a fucking ninja. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after all, another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound? What, what am I watching? One final opponent where, look, he's fucking literally doing the Z stance from League, dude. He's doing the Shen fucking pose. What the fuck? Benny, are you kidding me? You had that fucking drip the whole time? Oh my god, he's got four Pokemon. Is he gonna 4v1 me? Holy shit, okay. Let's see what Benny's got, dude. It's fucking time to put our words into action. <laughs> okay. 59! Leads with Hypnosis. We're very slow as Golem. Golem also has a really bad special defense, which makes this really bad for us. Um, ideally we want to swap to Gengar, but I'm scared Gengar's gonna get one shot, so I think probably best to swap to... Oh god, I've got a lot of physical damage Pokemon here. Um, realistically, this is quite tough. I think I have to send out Snorlax, who is a normal type and normal into Ghost. Bit of a weird interaction. We might be able to tank a Ghost move here if we're lucky. Uh, or in fact, I don't even know if it uses, if it works like that. Okay, nice, we're up. Uh, we have Fire Punch. High horsepower is pretty good. Crunch is super effective. We're gonna definitely lead with one of those. In fact, let's just strong style this. Snorlax not got the most damage, but uh, times two, strong style? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Excellent maneuver there. Fucking pleased with that. Okay, one out of four down. He's gonna send out Sneasel. Sneasler, rather. Okay, not gonna do too much damage. If I can get my Fire Punch off here, we're laughing. I think he is definitely a nice type. He's just going to use three, three moves in a row on me. I guess he's fast. He literally just did three attacks back to back to back. Uh, okay. That was balanced. Uh, right, well, I guess we just fuck this guy's brains right up. Uh, I could get away with... Do you know what? We're not even going to take any chances. Kill it. Put it down. I'm gonna take a huge amount of damage here, but for the trade, I'm happy. We out, we out match Benny in terms of numbers, so we'll just push him. Did Mr. Wolfie purchase the meme edition of Pokemon Arceus? This can't be the real plot. Plot? In a Pokemon game? Are you kidding me? Gardevoir level 60 he uses Calm Mind. Immediately gonna buff herself. We're not that slow. Please tell me we're not that slow. Oh, we are that slow. Yeah, cool. Oh boys, uh, okay so uh, Gardevoir is a psychic type and something else maybe? I think our ghost type would be insane here. Send out Gengar. Gengar, we should be able to fuck her shit right up. We're gonna hit her with the, uh, the fast shadow ball and the, the special shadow ball just in case. Calm mind's pretty scary right now so we have to be careful. This is not gonna kill but the second one should. Now we hit her with a powerful Shadow Ball. Thanks to Valkyrie's tip about doing the fast, hard attack. There you go, Gardevoir. Piss off. It really doesn't seem to matter in this game like what you have. As long as you have a high enough level that you can't be one-shot, it really doesn't seem to matter. Okay. Game seems to just make shit up as it goes. Uh, let's go ahead and send out Jurex here. Pretty tanky Pokemon to deal with the shit of this guy. Uh, we're gonna lead with self destruct, I think. Are we doing that? Actually, I get back to back bulldozers. I think this just kills him. Gonna hit him with a regular bulldoze here. 
And then we're going to hit him with the heavy bulldoze. Or we could self-destruct for the memes. Yeah, let's do it for the memes. <laughs> Go on. Yeah, you like that, bitch? <laughs> Golem was asleep when he did that, by the way. <laughs> it makes no sense. It makes no sense. Just imagine that for a second, guys, in terms of, like, an anime. Imagine Golem was, like, lying asleep on the, on the floor and then this fucking ninja Pokemon... Gallade, whatever, comes fucking up for the karate chop and then Golem just cracks an eye open and then he's like, surprise motherfucker, and then he just literally self-destructs blows up the entire arena the entire cave, whatever, kills everybody inside, and then at the end Golem just like, goes back for a little snooze, he's still alive in this game because he doesn't die when he uses explosion so he just literally settles back down and he's covered in blood guts, like there's there, there's literally body parts all over his cave and he's just like, yeah, see you later boys back to sleep he goes oh benny not bad mate maybe if you had six pokemon you might have beat me honestly you might have actually beat me benny if you had six pokemon but alas you made the ultimate mistake of only bringing four i mean also just fyi i thought nobody in this fucking game could catch pokemon when we first joined the village you know when we joined and they were like oh nobody's been able to catch more than one pokemon none of these people have pokemon in their rosters other than maybe one or two benny's got four how? <laughs> like, what? It seems my ninja techniques will soon be consigned to his... I guess he is a ninja. Maybe that's his... He's been training with the fucking Justice League. Or the League of Shadows or something. He knows Kung Fu, I don't know. Very good, young one. Very good indeed, Benny. Shut your mouth. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Oh, thanks, Benny. <laughs> At least for, sk for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Wolfie, Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Yeah, I know, mate. Tell me about it. Have you seen the uh, the Electrovive outside, Benny? It just fucking wiped my entire party. I was just trying to catch the guy and give him a better home, but alas, he was really angry. Okay. If hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within the space-time rift, Kamado might to uh, lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself by force if you must. Do that and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. Benny, that sounds terrifying. Okay, my, my, my Pokemon team have all been healed, which is GG. Honestly, Benny was a bit of a struggle and uh, I'm a little bit nervous moving forward, if I'm being honest. Who is my fastest Pokemon? I haven't really checked that out yet. I guess I'll lead with Golem. Psychic fighting, yeah. Galada's fighting, yeah, okay. Golem explodes in his sleep, I know. <laughs> Should have gone for the head and just hit him with the Thanos snap, yeah. Alright, uh, I guess I saved the game here, just in case anything goes wrong. But honestly, if you die, it doesn't really seem like it matters. Alright. Oh, here's Volo. Volo, are you gonna... What's what's happening here? Oh, and uh, and Adam and Irida. Are you guys gonna stab me in the back too? That would complete the, uh, the cycle of backstabbing. You've brought the red chain? Irida, don't pretend like you've been paying attention. That Pokemon that's apparently been sighted through the rift. I I think it might be Almighty Sinnoh. But Commander Kamado stopped us from heading towards the temple. Oh, please try and get in my way. Please. Actually, Jack, Pokemon has a very complex algorithm that the developers have been developing for over 20 years that determines every interaction between Pokemon. Thanks, Lawless. Alright, let's see if we can tackle the big guy. I'm a little bit nervous about Gyarados' levels, but other than that, fuck it, dude. Dude, is Kamado in a, in a suit of armor? Oh my god, that's badass. He looks like the guy at the end of Pocahontas when he gets the shotgun. You know the villain in Pocahontas? How he gets the big fucking fat shield put on him. I forgot what his name is. I've heard that this uh, red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. Kamado, I've only just arrived and I'm already lost. What the fuck are we talking about here? The world together. Um, I woke my idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Tales of the House of the Moon. Tales of her eyes. Tales of Vespedia. He's fallen asleep. What do you think even the red chain is some trick on Wolfie's part? He worked mightily to get that thing. And I should know. I was with him the whole time. Doing absolutely nothing. Like every other NPC in Pokemon history. Uh, apart from the fishermen NPCs. Those are the real Gs. Shout to the fishermen homies that have given me rods throughout my Pokemon history. And the chairman that gave me my bike in red. Okay. Anyways, perhaps you are right, but if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith was uh, were to be betrayed, 
then how could I possibly face my people? I mean, that's a totally logical explanation, by the way. If you are the leader of your, like, let's say, a small town or a settlement or a village in, like, a feudal era, if some random person, you know, a random child appears, and or, or like, an ally and, you know, pretends or at least suggests that they're trying to help you, and then you leave yourself vulnerable to the point where your whole town and possibly livelihood and maybe even country could be wiped out, would you actually trust that person? Is that what a good leader... Should a, should a good leader trust some random stranger with all that? I don't know, actually. Then work together with us, says Adam, and should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Adam, if something goes wrong, the world's gonna explode, mate. Nobody's gonna give a fuck. Fine, enough. Let's dis let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Wolfie. Today we battle in earnest. Is this a really good idea? If we are gonna have to fight some mythical creature in a minute, should we really fight each other? Okay, Kamado's got four Pokemon as well. Here we go. He sent out Bravery, which is an excellent matchup for us sending out Golem. Now, he might just one-shot us with Psychic, admittedly, but if we get even one turn here, we're laughing. He's level 61. Esper Wing, which misses. Fantastic. He's utterly fucked. He is utterly fucked, right? He's fucked. Don't miss. Oh, mate. It sucks to be you. Uh, I think I'm going to just do a... I think I'm going to do a fast one. Don't miss. Golem, let's go. I've noticed that I'm, s I'm now sitting on top of the, uh, the health bars, but I'll rotate the camera in a minute with my character. Okay, not a good snor Snorlax. I need a fighting type to beat you. Agile style, we tank it. That's a ground type move. That's probably going to hurt. Okay, he just attacks me twice for no reason, despite the fact he's a Snorlax. I don't understand the logic. I, I genuinely don't. Uh, okay, uh, fighting. We need fighting style. Let's go. I just, I don't, I, I don't get it, dude. Snorlax, come on, did he just outspeed me twice? Uh, triple arrows, we get many turns in a row here. We're going to use one of these, and then we're going to follow up with a heavy attack. Can we get him down to half? That's probably, yeah, that's good enough. That's really good. Tate ain't getting pumped tonight. Triple arrows, strong style, let's go. Kagabushin no jutsu. Don't be judging how I spend my time on YouTube. Hello, Eric. Nice to see you tonight, my guy. Eric posted on our Digimon World Let's Play on YouTube today, guys. This morning, actually. It would have been yesterday for Eric, maybe. I don't know, Eric. Was it the middle of the night for you or something? Eric was like, Jack, I'm starting this play, th this Let's Play again and you can't stop me. <laughs> I was like, Eric, no. Don't do it, Eric. Live your better life. <laughs> Attacks twice because of an Agile style. It's a fucking Snorlax, though. Like, come on, man. This is bullshit. Okay, Clefairy is, a fa uh, Clefairy is a fairy type, I believe, which is weak to steel, which I don't have. Um, Crunch would beat fairy, I think. Is Clefable considered fairy in this game? If I was to use Crunch... Oh no, it's not very effective, fuck. Fairy beats dark, what am I thinking about? I'm insane. Uh, let's go ahead and use... Let's just use a fire punch, fuck it. See if we can burn it. Crunch bad, yeah. It was late at night, okay. Set on fire? No? No fire this time. Psychic. Ow. We tank those. Okay, it's fine. Defensive stats were somehow lowered. That's kind of fucking unfortunate. Okay. Sure. Can we try again, maybe? Strong style. Fire Belly Bunch. Oh, that was good. That was a crit. We don't get the fire proc, though. Commando uses a max potion. You dirty, stinking degenerate. How could you? Alright, fuck it. One last try. You fucker. There's the burn that we wanted. That's good. Okay. Psychic's gonna kill us, I think. Oh, we survived, but he gets like three turns in a row. Three turns in a row. Oh, Fable, I need you to burn. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, we need something nice and fast here. Fairy loses this ghost beat? I don't know. Flying water. We're in a bit of a pickle here. Maybe Gyarados? 
Alright, let's see what we can do. Carados, I need you to do as much damage as possible with your Agile Aqua Tail. Kapawe! Slap. <laughs> and now for another one of those. In fact, can we take it up to 100 just so we don't miss? There we go. Strong style, let's do it. Do you guys want me to turn down my, my volume a little bit as well? Because it's quite noisy here. Just a smidge. Alright, Gary, congrats. Golem! Oh, good matchup. Uh, Stealth Rock. We are flying type, so that's going to hurt. Uh, sure. Do I got a turn here? No, I don't. <sighs> Bro, come on, man. It's a fucking Golem! Uh, bravery going to get slapped here. We have to kill this thing really fast. Oh, we could be in a bit of trouble here. We could be in a bit of trouble. I'm kind of nervous. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. So we got a couple of turns here. Shadow Ball, pretty effective. I'm just going to use a regular Shadow Ball. Golem has quite a low defense. So we should be alright here. Yeah, okay, we're good. Feed your sheep. Hello, skill tree. Alright, Golem, you tried. Alright, dude, respect to my boy Kamado for running the Golem. He knows. He knows, dude. Alright. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Okay, sweet. Alright, sure. Let's go, Gyarados. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Which is why I've brought two more Pokemon and now demand a rematch. Oh my god. No, don't commit seppuku. Imagine he just drew out a blade and killed himself on the spot chat. Wouldn't you fucking shit your pants? Pokemon, jeez. I know we've been asking for a more mature tone for many years now, but come on, you <laughs> you're going from 0 to 100 pretty quickly. Wolfie, the fate has decided I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. I'm also really sorry for throwing out your underwear and pretending it was Benny. I'm sorry for pissing in your in your cereal that one morning that you didn't know us. And I'm also sorry for railing your future wife, Adamant. Adamant's like, boss, you weren't supposed to tell anyone about that. That was supposed to be a secret. Shut up, Adamant. Commander... I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use the strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition team. I mean, you certainly don't have any right to ask me, but I'll do it anyway, because I'm a nice guy. For the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. You want me to go to the giant muddy puddle in the sky and save the world? Commander, we've got the red chain. I have no idea what that is, but okay. Sure. Um, all right. Just gonna uh, swag my way up on uh, super fast word deer here. Wait, how did you guys get past the commander? Did you guys fight him as well? Imagine the commander's been losing the whole day to every single person who challenges him on the mountain. Let's have a look at the Pokemon here. Honestly, I think they're. I, I hope they're strong enough. I'm assuming we're gonna try and catch the last Pokemon, but honestly, my Pokeball uh, storage at this point, like the amount of balls I have. It's a bit scary. It's a bit lackluster. I've got nine grey balls. I don't think my team are going to survive long enough to throw those though, so... I guess we just have to pray. <laughs> then Kamado draws a gun. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at this, actually. Let's take a, t a second to just appreciate this guy, because this is kind of cool. You've got Wordier here. You've got the uh, Cleaver that we fought, the boss. Big Bear, whose name I've forgotten. And then the little dancer character. The fishy that we ride, and then the, the Growlithe. I actually think, well, the Arcanine. I actually, guys, what do you guys think about the design of the Arcanine in this region? Because I know it's a bit controversial. Some people say they like it, some people say they don't. I actually think it's badass. But don't let me influence you. Tell me your thoughts. I really like the Arcanine design from this region, from this game. I think it's really cool. I really, really like it. I don't know what the fuck that is. Then there's the guy who climbs. What's his name? What the fuck is that, dude? That's like the thing at the Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, bravery. And then, oh yeah, this fucking thing, the Salamander. Mr. I Like Turtles. Okay. The ball is Electrode. Oh, is that what that's supposed to be? It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what can what it can do. Irida, be quiet, you're filler. Hold on a sec. I left the red chain at home. I left it in my bunk. Adam and you had one fucking job. Are you kidding me? Psych, I got it here. Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? 
Almighty Sinnoh, I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. Adam, and now's not the time to fake and pretend you're important. I can't be bothered with this. It's telling me. It's telling me that you should all get naked and dance for me. You hold the red chain, try to catch me, then, human, for the fight to come. I don't believe him. I think Adamant's making this up because he's trying to feel important. Take these. It's from the Dark Brotherhood. Ten Ultra Balls? Holy fucking shit, bro. Thanks. Actually useful. Can you believe it, chat? My teammates actually giving me stuff. Isn't that great? What the fuck? Imagine the whole game was like that. Imagine the whole game you were given. You were given useful items. What the hell? Strong style, bullet shot. I really like it. Oh, I, I should probably talk to her. Shit, I missed it. Oh my god. Tentacruel, is that you? Oh, just kidding. Wow. Dino Man. Woo! The Red Chain. Ouch, ouch. Get fucked. Oh, well, fucking hell, that was shite. <laughs> Wait, wh did anybody bring the blue chain? Did anybody, did anybody bring the green chain as backup? Holy shit. Boys, we're going in. Hold steady. Dialga. No, not steel. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Uh, well, that was a bad start. Um, Maybe we can put it to sleep, eh? No, let's do that later. So, Dialga, I don't know what type Dialga is. Uh, I should know. Dragon something? Dragon steel? He did a steel move, right? Uh, let's go ahead and hit him with the... Uh... Oh, God, this is looking a bit rough, lads. Maybe we can hit him with back-to-back -back crunches and lower his defense, yeah? I don't know if that works. I don't know if it lowers defense. If he steals, he's probably got... Oh! A critical hit. That's why I did so much fucking damage. I was going to say, holy shit. Um, let's just hit him with the uh, the old regular shark fans. Yeah, Lord Defense. Yeah, sure. Let's try again. Okay, nice. Not bad damage. Did we crit him twice? Iron Tail comes through. We avoid it because we're a god. Garados, you are fucking slapping right now. Hit him with another one. Another. That's going to take him down to the yellow. Maybe even the red if we crit. Remember, Diago's had its stats lowered. Roar of Time. And Garados is just fucking dominating right now. Garados, I'm so proud of you. Keep it up, dude. Hit him again. Is this supposed to be a legendary Pokemon? He's kind of trash. Oh, shit. I was kidding. Garados, no. I didn't mean to bait him. Oh, Garados. Garados. You're insane. All right, Garados. Hold steady. I've got the balls. Garados, wait. It's going to be okay. We're going to first try this. Easy peasy. Bish bash bosh in the Ultra Ball. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Garados, you're fucked. Listen, you did superb. Unless you can dodge again. Okay, just kidding. Garados was great there! He did so well! This thing is literally 15 levels above him. Right, here's the plan. We send out the Gengar, we put him to sleep, catch him with the ball. You ready? You ready? We get two shots at this, guys. Two shots. We're gonna hit him with the Hypnosis. Uh, it's 70% accuracy. If I do a strong still, it's 90%. I think we can try back-to-back -back 70 for a better chance. Let's just try back-to-back -back 70. It works first try. Absolutely phenomenal. Nobody move, chat. Nobody move. It's in the hands of the gods now. We've gotten it into the red. We've put it to sleep and we're using Ultra Balls, which are the best capture tools at our disposal at this point. If this doesn't work, I don't know what to say. I've done everything I can. Get in the ball, you little bastard. It's the final showdown. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Easy, dude. I am going to dedicate this fucking capture to my boy Gary the Garados. Fucking did so well. Okay. He caught it. I knew my boyfriend could pull it off. Erida, I'm not your boyfriend. Well done, Wolfie, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way simply... Hold on, what did he say? I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your 
way to a simply stunning victory. That was such an awkward sentence, Professor. Are you kidding me? You're making me think like I'm drunk. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Don't try and win me back into your team now that I'm important. Now that I've caught the legendary... Whatever the fuck it was called. Looks like I taught him well, Akari. I fucking cannot believe you've just said that. Can we just get a... Can we get a screenshot of this, dude? Can we get a screenshot of this? Looks like I taught him well? Akari, are you fucking kidding me right now? I... I can't even... It's like I'm so disgusted that I'm come, I've am i come full circle and I'm calm about it. Like, you know when someone is so dumb, you can't be mad at them because they're not a threat? I can't even, that is such a ridiculous thing to say. <sighs> if she wasn't wearing a fucking pillowcase on her head, I swear to God. Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, it's, wait, it's called Dialga. Mighty Dialga is speaking to me in my mind. Adam and stop faking it, dude. I'm fed up with this. Space time is torn, awful power spills forth, and frenzied one comes to fight. Now human fight it with me. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Wolfie could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that one now. Wait a fucking minute, dude. Hold the fucking bus, lads, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, Ronald Weasley! Oh my god. Is that Peter? Peter McPamplemus. Oh, he's pissed. Everybody hold. Hold. Okay, okay, okay. I got a full revive team, don't I? Wait a minute, are we retreating? Wait a minute. Tactical retreat? I could have took him. Put me in, coach. Oh my god, I was kidding. I was kidding. All of you, we must vacate this. Ah, oh, forget the fancy talk. Book it, come on. <laughs> Book it. But Commander! We can't just leave it here. You dunce! You won't be any use to anybody if you die up here on the mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get done. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm out of here, boys. I am fucking... Oof, back to the camp. Holy fuck, who would have guessed? Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our current capabilities to su survive, or oh, to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Wolfie. I mean, don't tell anyone, Lavington, but I kind of pissed my pants a little. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? Uh, no, that was actually just the fart from Kamado. He had one of Benny's curries last night, that was the force that you felt. Anyways, I can't believe there were really two almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means neither of our clans was really wrong, huh? Oh, Adam, and don't you try and turn this into a I told you so moment, I swear. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. Kamado, I'm gonna expect you to sacrifice three fingers before the clan tomorrow. To the both of you, as fellow leaders, you saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Wolfie. And to you, Wolfie. Listen, Kamado, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I was kind of disappointed that, that you threw me out and talked shit about me behind my back, and then when I tried to help you, you tried to kill me. Other than that, though, your armor is sick, and I like your design, the headband, the mustache. It all matches. The Pokeballs hanging at your side. Realistically, they look a little bit larger than I think they're supposed to, but you're pulling off the look, and I dig it. Realistically, though, they should have made you taller than Professor Laventon, because otherwise you look a bit emasculated. You're supposed to be the king. What are you, a fucking... Dude, Akari's pillowcase almost tops you. And she is wearing her onion badgy shoes, but other than that, come on. Despite all that, you still stro- Oh, you've been talking to me this whole time, sorry. Yeah, it's fine, whatever, bro. I'm the main character. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. You mean the giant muddy puddle? Burnt pizza in the sky? Yes, Iruda. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. Ah, yes. You mean that fucking drunken party we had last week? We left all our cans up there, didn't we? And that dead hooker. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, what was that, Adamin? Uh, nothing, sir. Nothing. Um, not to mention my loss of comp- That wasn't funny. That was a step too far. It seems that having Wolfie uh, is about to- has been a good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were, huh? We'd have no chance getting through this disaster without you. Uh, Adam, and what did you just say a moment ago? I could have sworn you said something really fucking weird. Uh, no, it was just in your mind, Iruda. Oh, okay. Yes, be quiet. 
Ah, yes. The smell of napalm. The chain of red, the vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. What the fuck did you just say, Adamant? I don't know. He's been smoking that good kush again. Can I have some of that? Professor! Now's not the time, Professor. We have to get going. There's main story left. There's some last minute battles and Wolfie's not prepared. Upon my word, perhaps I do. Wolfie, my boy, could you please lend me those plates you received from Wyrdeer and the others? The ones that Volo said had the messages engraved upon them? Oh, those were important. Shit, I threw those out last week. Uh, I dumped them in the river, actually. Ah, uh, just as I remembered. Here on the back of the earth plate it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what do we need. S Professor, what if someone just scribbled that on his graffiti? Uh, be quiet, Erudo. I need this to make sense, for the sake of the story. Now be quiet. Erudo, you have been talking an awful lot recently. It's getting out of control. I'm going to be the main character in the next game. You wait and see. Ugh, yes, well... Weirder shit has happened, after all. Anyways, Wolfie, the mission. May we speak? May we seek your clan's aid once more? I don't even have a clan. I've been lying this whole time. God damn it, Irida. Hey, Guild of Awesome. What's up, dude? I waited as long as I could uh, reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor y'all with an... Oh, no. Unsolicited visit. Be glad and read you. Oh, well. Hi, Melly. How's it going? Now, Admin, I see... Can we break Melly's legs yet, or...? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, a great leader, Admin, and make it make it a good one. Uh, yes, Melly. We've got, um... There's a cliff over there yonder. I need you to go test gravity for me. I'm pretty sure it still works, but I'd like to double check. Oh, Admin, you can't be serious. You want me to tie some bricks to my shoes and dive off that cliff? Exactly. Well, I guess I better go fulfill some use. Goodbye, Wolfie. Take this as a reward. Three candy truffles. Oh, thanks, Melly. I will allow you to remove one brick from one of your feet. Oh my god. Well, well, well. I brought Leon. Oh, fucking hell. Did you have to? Sheesh, the ugly hat suits you as poorly as the important role does. I don't like this at all. Hisu's, Hisui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realise that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first one consulted. But my name is Leon after all, which is like almost like Liam, but it's kind of budget. Like there's a missing hump in the M. Excuse me, that bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both of you and the ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Guys, do we really have to have this childish bickering while we're getting ready for the final boss? I need time to think. And who the fuck is that guy in the background wearing the hat? Who is he? Is he with you there? Is he with one of your guys' clans, or is he just a random guy? Is he the town guy that gives me rest and sells me items? George, you're not needed. Go home. But Wolfie, my shift ends at midnight. Okay, George, as you were. Thank you, sir. Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Let us uh, set out at once. We make for the prime of uh, the primeval, the primeval grotto. Is that right? It's like primeval. But, like, not primary? I don't know. Head for the place where you can obtain the origin ore. Okay, sure. Um, My team is fully healed, right? Back to the place where we first met. Maybe I can make some balls. Maybe I make some of these just in case. I still don't have the ability to make ultra balls, do I? Maybe I can buy ultra balls? Hey, bud. Oh, don't mind me. Uh, shopping. Oh, no Ultra Balls yet. It feels bad to man. Okay, sure. Uh, Alright. Onwards, guys. We could keep grinding and stuff and train our team up. I'm starting to get a little bit concerned that we might not be strong enough for this, but at the same time, I say we just throw ourselves at the challenge and if we can do it, we can do it, and if not, then who cares. This guy... Hell yeah! <laughs> Leon. <laughs> How the fuck do I... Is this like inside the cave ruins? I think there's an entrance over it. What the fuck was that, dude? Oh, it's a giant nose pass down there. Whatever the fuck it's called. There's the cave down there. Let's just uh, hit this. 
Is he a big one? Yeah, he is. Okay. In we go. I don't think I've actually killed one of these. Just kidding. Oh, no, I haven't. Um, Gyarados should be pretty good against this. We'll quickly take this guy out of the game. Just while we're in the area. Uh, we should be able to kill it. Maybe. I don't know if we have enough damage. He's pretty tanky. Let's just hit him once. Oh, did we just miss? Really, though? Oh, God. Pain. Earth power misses. Lol. Uh, we can hit him with two back-to-back -back Iron Tails here. Or Aqua Tails, rather. Iron Defense is what he used. Okay, pretty good. I actually think that a strong one of these would have actually killed him first try if I'd actually made an effort. Alright, nose pass. Nice try, guy. Okay, Gyarados gets a thousand XP for that. Alright. Fine. I put Dialga on your team for power. Oh, I forgot about that, actually. Yeah, I could have. I forgot I had that Pokemon with me. Whoops. That would have been a good idea. A legendary Pokemon must suffer the fate of the living in uh, Reject Ranch or the computer bin. Taking into consideration my knowledge of the ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my uh, Sligo's moves. Leon, nobody asked for your fucking life story. Are you going to clear the barricade or nah? Hurry up. We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. Oh no, please tell me. Oh, for God's sake. Talk about meaning <laughs> meaningless characters that don't need to... Why are these characters even in the game? Like, we've met them twice. For fuck's sake, really? At a time like this? My god, bro. As if. Of course. Yeah, sure. Fucking hell. On a night like this, we're gonna 1v1. The evil sisters. Oh, there's not even any. Oh, where's the music? Right on. Respect. I respect it. Gyarados. Go fuck up this bitch. Uh, pretty bad matchup for Gyarados, I think, because although we get the water damage, I don't think Aquatail is ever going to have enough to one-shot this thing. Which means we're pretty much fucking Giga Doomed. Um, Aquatail's never going to one-shot. He's going to use Rock rock Throw or something at me and one-shot my ass, and then we're fucking utterly gimped. I think we try one Aquatail. Did it miss again? What? What? Dude, these 90% moves are missing like once every three goes, man. 90% my fucking ass. What a joke. I'm so fucking mad. Okay, it's fine. Great. Sure. Bulldoze. Fuck me, dude. Because they desperately need a villain for absolutely no reason, apparently. Dude, I'm going to have to defeat every one of these sisters 1v2 style, aren't we? I can't believe that, man. Fucking hell. I just want Gyarados to get some fucking XP. That's all I want. But he keeps getting gimped by dumb shit. Oh, speaking of fucking moves missing. Unlucky Gengar. He's going to get three turns here. So that won't kill me, I don't think. But the second one will. Do we survive? No, we don't. Despite having 111 HP. Uh, okay, Gengar versus Gengar. He's just had three turns, so if I don't get dibs here, I don't know what the fuck to say. Alright, Shadow Ball gives me two turns. We're gonna hit him back to back here. Okay. Alright, battle decided, is that it? I gotta fight the other sisters, surely. There's no way this is just a random 1 versus 2 fight. If I get so many, if I get any XP candies, it'd be really handy, but I don't think I'm gonna see any of those. Okay. In the white version, I had a box full of legendary Pokemon all close to level or at level 100. Sheesh. Nice one. Unbelievable, dude. I can't even believe 
I mean, it's cool that they tried, but like these characters are so unimportant to the story. Like, I can't even. They just appear as like absolute random fucking battles. And I know that's kind of the role, but like they're so insignificant that it's like. If they weren't in the game, I don't think anybody would have noticed. I don't know. I guess it's better to have extra stuff than not have enough, but fucking hell. Wow. You obtain a piece of origin ore. Cool. That was surprisingly easy. Alright, sure. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Liam's, Liam's helpful. Thank God that he did something. Unlike you two fucking idiots. Uh, report back to Professor Laventon. Cool. Um, uh, honestly, I think I will go this way. I don't know if I ever caught a bronze on, you know that. Why can't I? Oh, because I'm on the back of the fucking number caught. Uh, I would have to fight it, realistically. Do you know what? At this stage, because Gyarados is so low in level, I actually think that I need to... Uh, I actually think I do need to ditch Gyarados and pick up... Um, I think I'm going to pick up the legendary Pokemon. There's a Chime Chow. Wait. No, it's, oh, it's a Chingling. I'm going to actually try and catch this if I can. Uh, I don't want to kill it, though. It missed again. Okay, I have done f I have done five ninety percent accuracy attacks today. I've done five of them, five, and I've missed five. I just don't even understand. Is this real life? I killed it by accident. Oh fuck it! All right, uh, sure. Catch a Chimchu, if I can, please. Please. Before Graveler kills me, that would be ideal. Alright. Up you go, buddy. Whew. Mm -hmm. These are like the budget Pokemon Maga Sisters, except they have intelligence of pebbles. Yeah. Not exactly fond of those guys. Alright, I need the leak. Pick that up. I really need to heal my team and I do need to swap my team, so I think we'll do that before we talk to Laventon. And before we find out that Laventon is actually one of the villains as well and he's gonna stab me in the back. He's probably got five Mewtwo's in his team. I think I actually will use the Legendary, why not? Let's go ahead and put Gyarados in the box, because Gyarados, although I love him a lot and he did well, he's struggling to keep up really badly. So Bidoof, uh, we're going to swap you out for Big Dekaroo, Big Dalgia, or Dialga, I should say. Alright, I think we save here, just on the off chance that shit gets out of hand. Alright, happy enough with that. Hey bud. So, this is the stone of creation's beginning, the origin ore. Hmm, yes, one can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this feeling be of being drunk? Professor, you weren't supposed to have beers until the after party. We haven't saved the planet yet. Professor, you told me that you were two months sober. Well, I lied. Anyways, back to the village. Okay, if the game is going to scam you this much with accuracy, I think it's entirely acceptable to scam it back by using Dialga. I just don't get it, dude. I've used Hypnosis twice with Gengar and it's failed. And then I've also used Aqua Tail with Gyarados three times in a row and it's missed, like, literally every time. I just don't understand. I know that, you know, by definition, if, an, if a move is 90%, if you're running the 90% moves, Hydro Pump in the traditional games, Thunder or whatever, I know some of these moves maybe have less or more than 90% accuracy, you do run the risk of not having the attack land. That's why they're so pro uh, problematic. And that's why in competitive, I think a lot of players don't run them, right? Because it's so inconsistent, you can't rely on it. And if you fail, it's really bad. I know that there's a chance for it to miss, but so many times like this, I mean, come on, bro. I know we as humans as well, guys, and as players, we typically remember the times where we do get scammed. You remember the bad times because they stick in your mind a lot. You don't care about the times where you land the move five times in a row or whatever. But 
Honest to God, bro, it kills me sometimes. Like, if it's 90%, I expect to miss once every 10 fucking goes. Not five times out of six. Like, what the fuck? 90% my ass. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all those broken bits back at the temple. Wilfie, this is a good time to share the fact that I'm in love with you and Benny. So maybe if you guys fight to the death, you can, you know, the winner can have me. Eh, uh, no, Akari, Benny can have you. But I was bluffing. I don't want Benny. You handed over the origin ore. The fragments of the red chain collected at the great personal risk by the Peril Clan. Then the stone of creation's beginning, which we first learned thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now it's time for the galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Akari, my girl, you're one of our team's greatest craftspeople. <laughs> Could I ask for you to do the honours? You mean me? The girl with the pillowcase on my head and the onion badgy shoes? I certainly could. This may take some time. Perhaps the rest of you had better wait outside while we work. Okay, Akari actually gonna do something? Question mark. Great. Adamin, are you okay? Adamin, are you gonna die? You look like you're gonna die. Come on, Professor. Wish they'd hurry up in there. I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time as a cover for your own impatience. I've got a killer headache, and it's not the vodka I drank last night. I'd sit forever because uh, that'd be using time well, unlike this. Right, well this is awkward. Anyone want to give a smash pose? Oh god, Professor! I dub it the Origin Ball! If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokémon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Uh, Professor, you made that super fast. Don't worry, it only required a blood sacrifice. Professor, it, it, the origin ball required a... Is that why it's brick red? Yes, I had to kill someone. But you were only in there with Akiri... With, with, with Akiri, Akiri, whatever her name is. I can't even say Ak. Ak Kak. You were only in there with her and, you know... Wolfie, don't ask questions. Anyways, good luck. Goodbye. I have to flee the country now. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think the fate of old Hisui could rest in something so tiny. Wait, are we talking about my penis again? Uh Oh shit, did I say that out loud? Flashback. It's okay, Adamin. It's not about the size of the legendary. It's about how you use it. Thanks, Erida. That's okay, we can get married later. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that, Wilfie. How about you? Back to my place, get some beers. Professor, I have to go save the world. Oh, right, of course. Whoo-wee! Prepare well and make for the temple. I have no idea what to expect of this temple, guys. We've got one origin ball. I'm assuming this is the equivalent of the master ball, right? Where the fuck is it? Oh, I guess it's like a special item so it doesn't appear in here. That would have been really funny if I could use it on a parasec. Uh, okay, can I just see what Dialga looks like in, in the flesh? Holy shit. Kinda, kinda dank, bro. Yeah, you like that, CC? You still interested in Magikarps? How about I show you this legendary Pokemon and we call it even? I just want to know about Magikarp. Fuck your legendary Pokemon. It's already irrelevant. Uh, okay. Shit, well, ugh. Okay then, I guess. Did I get any, uh, did I get any XP items that I could just give to my team? I don't think so. Fuck it. We're actually close to a lot of level ups across... Well, actually, we're not. Bra Bravery's about to get a level up, but... Okay! I wonder if Giratina will show up next. Probably. Uh, there's another player in Vietnam who succeeded the move 236 times in a row. And you failed six times, man, and don't even start with your fake facts. Don't make up this data. There's a player in Vietnam who succeeded the move 236 times, man, and shut up. Beers? Got any cider? I do, in the fridge, actually, way. How's it going, mate? Welcome. Jack's only got one ball. And so what if I do? If it's allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend here in his suey, and eventually the very world will be broken. But you have the aid of the of its counterpart, Dialga. Oh, actually, I sold that on eBay for some cash. I needed the money really badly, Kogi. Is that going to be a problem? Wolfie, the only way we could save the planet is with that legendary Pokemon, and you sold it? 
on eBay. You should have uh, seen the fees that were disgusting. Did you pay for express delivery? Yes. Okay then. Well, I guess we're all fucking doomed, didn't we? Edida, I just want you to know I've always hated you. And what about me? Admin? Your tiny PP was handy sometimes, but I have to say goodbye to both of you. Fair point. Alright, Wilfie, once you feel ready, set out. We make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Back to the place where we first met. Okay, prepare well and then make for the temple. Yeah, sure. I'm ready. We're going in, boys. Hold my... Oh, there it is. I'm coming up, so you better get this party started. Hey, Hoff. Beer in the fridge. Do share. I've got one beer in the fridge. Literally one. I'm not even kidding. I have one beer in the fridge. I had two beers in the fridge until earlier. And then I drank it. Come on, bird fly! Oh my god, the temple's miles away. I should definitely fast travel closer, but I feel like it's more thematic if we uh, take the time to really, you know, travel there. We can use all of our Pokemon at all of our, you know, this is like the moment in the montage where you would use like all of your Pokemon to get there. Now, because of the fact our fish, our fish driving Pokemon kind of sucks, we'll give them some time here. Look. He's relevant. Oh my god. If there was achievements on, on the Switch, I'm pretty sure there would be achievement. There would be an achievement for, like, using all of the animals at once, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. What kind of cider? I've got Magners. Magners in the fridge. I've got some cans of the Maggie. Oh my god. A wisp. I'll take that. I know because I'm head statist. I know because I'm head st uh, statistician. Well, that's a hard word. Statistic. <laughs> Wait. This I can't say it, dude. Statistician. Wow. I found the purple burglar alarm. That is my weakness, guys. Statistician. Oh my, it's hard. I can't do it. For Nintendo, every second weekend. Manon, see, it isn't so. Manon, can you get some discounts? Get some discounts on the next game, on Arceus 2. Okay, up we go, boys. Up we go. Wow. Magner's right, yeah, you know it. Share it? Well, you want me to share one beer off with the entire chat? 99 bottles of beer in the fridge, 99 bottles of beer. You take one out, you pass it around. Half the chat complains they don't like it. Banned. Are you even old enough to drink, Jack? That's a secret that I can't answer at this point in time. Okay, come on, reindeer. Let's go! Oh my god, that fuck it, what the fuck was that just materialised? Right, we better uh, save our game, I guess. I don't know if the save files even count at this point, but fuck it. Current location, Cloud Cloud Cat Pass. I'm going in, boss. Here we go, chat. Pray for me. Hmm. You found the purple burglar alarm? I did, yes. I can get discounts every 13th of April, but only for the game starting with the letter B and Y. Okay, perfect. Volo, don't even try and challenge me to a duel. Just the boy I've been waiting for! Volo, don't, mate. I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful if I set up here. Yeah, sure, okay, cool. So you're just gonna give me some freebies, right? Seeing as the fate of the world rests in my hands, you're gonna give me as many supplies as I need to survive, right? Because if I fail, your shop's meaningless and your economy's dead anyway because you're dead. So realistically, you wanna give me potions, ultra balls, revives, all of that stuff, right? No? Uh, Ultra Balls. I can only buy four. That's worrying. I've also got some Max Revives available as well. Can I sell some Stardust, maybe? Yeah, fuck it. I've got more Stardust to sell, but... Let's uh, pick up more of these for the sake of the dream. How many Ultra Balls? we got 17. Well, it's gonna have to be enough, chat. It's gonna have to be enough. 
I guess I could buy a Max Revive just in case. But I'd need to sell some stuff in the, in the meantime. I think I've got more. Let's just sell this. I was going to keep this for later, but um, I'm really bad at navigating these menus. I apologize. Will we buy one Max Revive and hope to God that that's enough? Here's the Max Potions. What else can I sell for cash? I think I just keep selling these. Oh, actually, Star Pieces, right? Okay, cool. Let's uh, buy some more. Alright. I'll do it. Pray for me. I'm going in. What's your favourite Pokeball? Uh, the one that causes me the least, the least amount of stress. The one that tilts me the least when I'm trying to catch shit Pokemon. The Master Ball says Hoff. Because it just works. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to agree with Hoff. Why would you not pick the Master Ball? Unless you're an Edgelord. Unless it was like a discussion of which design do you like the most, right? If it was a question of like, oh, I like that. Maybe you like like the fucking netball or something because of its color scheme or some fucking random shit. I don't know. Why would you not pick the Pokeball that guarantees you the win? For so long, I thought that I'd had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilee Village. Whether they meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon at the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you've shown me the way. That way, I was wrong to think, or I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge? Uh, I think so, yeah. Put me in, coach. Hey, Wilfie, let's meet tomorrow together. What's that supposed to mean? I It's a saying we've got in the Diamond Clan. It means you hope you'll both stay safe. Perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes as well. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Uh, Kamado, I'd like all your Pokemon then. Uh, I can't give you all my Pokemon. I was lying. There's a surprise, mate. You and everybody else in this game. Master Ball 100% flawless and I like purple. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Get ready, boys. Whew. Has this guy just been waiting on me the whole time? He's just been waiting there this whole fucking time? Uh-oh. I just threw a fucking frag grenade painted as a fucking Ultra Ball. <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. Get fucking outplayed. Literally just Molotov cocktailed this bitch. Uh-oh. Oh, look who it is. Get fucking 1v1'd, bro. Hell yeah. Fuck him up! Come on, big dog, don't let me down. I chose you. Well, actually, the chat did, but that's okay. Oh my god, he's transformed into a fucking horse. What on earth am I looking at? Pegasus, is that you? Okay, never sh never spread your legs like that ever again. That was terrifying. Yo, Navy, what's up? Hello there. MLP represent, okay. Wait, what? It's, a web it's through a website called R2 Games. It's called Monster Evolution. Oh, it's one of these, is it? Oh, no. Okay, well, that just... That hit me right in the face. How did I dodge? Oh, fuck. Oh, that's not good. Wait, what? He's trolling. Ow. I'm trolling. Dude! That's bullshit how you can hit me twice in a row like that. Can I use a Pokemon on you? I think I'm dead. Fuck. What the fuck? Okay. This is kind of bullshit. Do you not think you're kind of cheating a little bit here? Oh, I fucking hate that move. Nope. Yeah, are we good? 
Don't hurt me. Woo! Okay. Literally one of the easiest fights. That was way easier than the other one. You know the fucking, the ace bitch? Alright. Boop. Get him. How are you doing? I'm doing great, Navy. Thank you for asking. And Hacks, welcome, guys. Got some fucking OGs in the house tonight. How's it going, folks? Welcome to the stream, folks. Oh my god, could it be? She Did it. Nailed it. First try. Here we go. You're already this far in the game. We're trying our best, Hacks. We've been playing it pretty much all week. This is day five. We've been putting a lot of time into it. I don't think it's that long, to be honest. And I haven't been doing all of the request stuff on the side, to be fair, so. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I was expecting to use my entire Pokemon team, but uh, maybe not. These new forms look awful as sin. I hate these new forms. Guys, come on, they're not that bad. I mean, you guys can dislike them for sure. That's okay, that's just an opinion. But uh, I don't think they were that bad. I thought that the, uh, the horse kind of form was unique. They're, they're obviously trying to change it and give it a bit of variety, and I, I didn't mind the, the horse form. I thought it was pretty cool. My eyes aren't lying, right? He actually went and caught it. If you look at, like, the theme of the pillars, guys, like, the design of the area, it kind of feels like, kind of, like, ancient Greece, ancient Rome, that like, that kind of style, maybe even Egypt or something. I, I guess they're going for, like, the Greek kind of mythos with the Pegasus and all that, but I don't know. Palkia just needs some arms. It would have been cooler as a centaur. Yeah, maybe. Absolutely astounding as ever, Wolfie. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Sino. Formidable as usual, Wolfie. Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sniff. Are you crying, Commando? So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. Shut up, you two, or I'll have you executed. Okay, sorry, sir. Hmm. Oh, wait, was that a Kung Fu move? What gives, Commander? Not sure I deserved a sumo throw. It's funny, because you two are both standing in the exact same position. <laughs> Listen up, all of you. I'm going to tell everyone that I conquered this beast and that you guys were behind me the whole time. Anybody in favour? I will have tried and executed. Understood? Uh, sir, yes, sir. Anyways, get the boys, get the lads. We're having a fucking party tonight in mine. But sir, I thought you said drinking and strippers were off limits in the village. Yes, and I wanted to smoke some of that drugs. That that drug stash that I had. And maybe me and you tonight, Irida, could consummate our marriage. How about it? That's disgusting, Adam, and how dare you? But yes, I'm totally down. I'll meet you out back behind the garbage truck. Perfect. <laughs> and bring your dad. What the hell? Okay. There's been a lot of sex jokes tonight, guys. I don't know why, I'm sorry. It's really weird considering all the characters are supposed to be like fucking 15 or whatever. Bit awkward. I can make jokes about the professor and the commander, but then when it gets to all the other characters... I don't know. I know my main character is like 15, but I would assume that the uh, the other characters are like... Because they're leaders of clans and one I don't know. We're truly scraping the bottom of the barrel at this point. I'd like to play this, but I can't afford to buy a Switch, says Death Dealer. I mean, it's so... Wait, is that it? Is it done? <laughs> Wait, is that, is that it, dude? <laughs> Wait, what? I thought I was going to use my Pokemon to fight something. I ended up just throwing sandbags. Yeah, yeah, Adamant must be over at 19 for sure. Adamant's like 20, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. What the hell? <laughs> you are so not done. Wait, what about my team? What in the fuck? GG 10 out of 10. But I trained my team up. My team did <laughs> didn't get to use my team. I guess I fought against some trainers. What the fuck? I mean, okay, I guess. Can we skip this? Oh no, it's one of these, you must watch the cutscenes. Okay, I respect it. 
Okay, well, we get the uh, we get the nice jingles and the music, I guess. Like all Pokemon games, it really starts once you've passed the end credits. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't think so, chat. No, I'm sorry, I have standards. No, I'm kidding, but like... So what's the, is there, is there actually more content hidden behind this, guys? Or is it just like, tidying up the game? Do we actually have more story to do, or what? How, how important do we consider this, like, after this? Jack, what are you, why are you in a cloud? Are you in heaven? I wish I was in heaven, really, yeah. Unfortunately, no. This is just the best location for a game like this. The, the UI was getting covered by me being elsewhere. Eld Adam is definitely older than me and I'm 22, so it's kind of He might just be a, an early bloomer chat. How do you know? But, but the end. Yeah, those are $200 plus whatever tax they add. Who would win, God or a child with bags of sand? <laughs> oh God, dude. What else, what else have we got to do, guys? Do we have to... Is it just a case of, like, filling out the Pokedex, or is there actually more story? There's therefore more content. Yeah, but, like, what, what is the content, guys? Without spoiling. I'm not asking you to tell me who the final boss is, but... Is there more... Like, like, what are we talking about here? Is there something that would add to the plot? Or is it run around and catch a thousand Psyducks? Ava, hi! There's more content after this, it's fairly good. I don't know what I'm saying, how to say it without spoiling. Legendaries, a tough fight after getting the legendaries, etc. Guys, I mean, I mean, I mean, how, how committed are we, chat? I mean, oh. <laughs> I mean, that guy's name was Jesus, did you see that? That guy's name was literally Jesus. There was somebody in this team called Jesus. There you had it. Kinjiro. Midori. Oh my god. Kaoru? Karen. <laughs> Karen Yu. <laughs> Karen Yu. Oh god. Oh, that's so funny, dude. Karen Yu, the fucking legendary game designer. Okay. Sure. Alright. Can we play now? Can we get back in? Thank you for adventuring with us. Is the music gonna time out here? Is it gonna fade? This would be a really good screen to to a okay, no, it's gone. <laughs> Shit. That would have been a really good screen to uh to talk about the game. Your art phone is beeping. <gasps> Seek out all Pokemon. Did we get sent back to our current time period or did, did any of that get explained? Guys, what about... What about the fact that we were a human boy in another realm? Do, does that get answered at all? You know how we were sent from like... You know how we were in a different dimension and then suddenly we were in this dimension and that wasn't explained at, at all? Are we going to get back to the past? Back to the present? Samurai Jack? Jack is mocking people's names. I'm not mocking, I'm commemorating. I'm respecting. I'm like, oh dude, cool name, dude. Karen Yu? Who doesn't want to be called Karen Yu? It looks like the space-time rift has vanished. The sky's gone back to normal again. Which I suppose means we'd better get back to our original mission, completing the Pokedex. I carry I would rather drown in the sea of piranhas. Uh, I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. Anyways, I'll see you at the office. Fucking hell. God damn you. Stop asking questions, Jack. She just don't get it. <laughs> should have taken a screenshot. I, I did. I should have. But I thought it was going to let me stay on that screen. I need to report my Pokedex findings to like the prof to like the professor at some point. I wonder if I can do that now. Let me see if I can leave the village or not. We might have to be... I might have to go in and, you know... I kind of want to go out and go back in. Will that be... Is that possible? Ah, oh, perfect. So if I was to pretend to go here, for example, right? Watch this. We should be able to cash in on some XP here. We live here now. Do they not even try... What about my family and friends of the real world? Does that get explained, guys? Do they even try and give a fucking shit? To be fair, I don't know if they did that in Digimon World either. Oh, here we go. Alright, we got some big beastly pokies. We get 10k in the bank. 
Sure. I don't know where this money's coming from. Did they collect this from the people in the city or what? Where's this funding coming from? Okay, 20 new points. I got 1,000 XP. 1,600 points, so we got a new rank. GG. Alright, sweet. Uh, I'll return to the village. There we go. Sweet. Isaac indefinitely. Yeah, apparently. Why would you do all this stuff and then immediately want to go back to the future? Hoff, what are you talking about? What about your family and friends? You know how we just disappear from our own time region? Hoff, listen, you think about modern technology and all the things you have in your life, Hoff, right? Your electric toothbrush, your brand new clothes, your video games, whatever else is important to you. Now, if I threw you back into the 1800s and you had none of that shit, they don't even have fucking, you know, basic shit, wouldn't you want to go back to the future as well? You think you'd live in, you think you'd live in a fucking tent rather than have a warm mattress and central heating in your house? Wouldn't you be excited to get back to the future as well? What the fuck? Your parents IRL. Well, I guess he's dead. Yeah, well, my character just, he gets thrown out of his own time zone. What about all of his fucking homies, dude? What about his connections? What if he was mowing the lawn for somebody or looking after someone's dog on Thursday and yet he's not going to do that? What the hell? You live in the Pokemon world now, Jack. Forget all your lame... <laughs> forget about your lame parents. <laughs> what the fuck? Silene, it is I. I'm ready for a promotion. I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. Uh, yeah, I sure did. Uh, I, I got wasted. We did shots all night and I'm totally fucked. Well, I'm sorry I asked. I must have missed it because I was working. Silene, you need to relax more. You need to get out there. Find a hobby. Oh, Professor, after that wild night the other night, when you fucking railed my brains to Timbuktu and back. I mean, uh, don't talk about that in front of the kids. Uh, kids, pretend you didn't hear that. I was drunk. Very drunk. It wasn't my finest ever. But anyways, is, uh, Silene, could you stop telling people about that? It was a secret. Oh my god, Professor, I can't believe you. Uh-oh. It, if it's Hisui and History and Legends you want, then I'm your man. Volo, no, literally no one asked. Literally no one. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen, Wolfie. You are to learn all you can from the merchant Volo and work together as needed for the sake of the Pokedex. What about getting back to my home period, you fucking bitch? <laughs> Silene, what about letting me go back to my own fucking country? What the hell? I've got kids. I've got 14 kids and a Psyduck to take care of back home. Who's going to feed my Psyduck? Silene, I would like you to give me a, a promotion, please. Mm, I assume you died in the real world and this is all just a fever dream seconds before your last breath. It's like, it's like the final episode of Lost, you know? We're just in limbo. Alright, there we go. Six stars, baby. What up, bitches? I'm the governor now. Call me the fucking governor. Silene, when do I outrank you? Uh, Wolfie, I've actually only got two stars and I've been ordering you around this whole time under the guise of being a higher rank. But in actual fact, I was just waiting until you asked me about it. Shit. Silene, I would like you to go as your first order. Go out and scrub the sheds out back. With soap and water. Okay, I got a, po a max potion recipe. Fantastic, Silene. Brilliant. And a thousand more... There's a fucking loot... Dude, there's a fucking Lucario just chilling here. Yeah. Yeah, you like that? Make that ass clap. Yeah, exactly. Shut the fuck up, Lucario. I'm still not over you whipping my ass in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes. Ball cup, fucking Mac punch, drain punch, whatever the fuck it was. Right. Um. Well, guys. Well, indeed. Holy fuck -a -roni. what happens if I go outside? Stay safe out there, kids. Alright. You have the Pokemon of space and time, just make the, just make what you want. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. I should probably go and get the other Pokemon out of my, my backpack, right? My uh, my PC. Where is this taking me to? What is, uh, what is the game asking me to do right now? What's my current mission? The researcher of myths. Meet Volo at the Heights camp in the Obsidian Fields. Do we have to? I mean, do we have to chat? How long does this quest go on for? Is this a while? I guess we could go and have a little gander, yeah? I'm asleep now, guys. Bye, bye, and GG's. See you later, uh, Hacks. Have a good sleep, man.
Have a good Saturday, Sunday as well. He can be my man if he wants. Ava, you've been incredibly thirsty recently, every time you've been in my chat. <laughs> incredibly thirsty, are you okay? <laughs> God bless, dude. FYM, the final episode of Lost. I think Wolfie's gone a tad insane. Lucario and Riley's ancestor is Lucario and Riley's ancestor. Dude, honestly, Lucario fucking smashed me in the Diamond and Pearl remix. I was not prepared for that. Hey, Volo, what's up, buddy? You alright? Wolfie, there you are. Look at this rock here. Do you think this means anything? Uh, no. Let's go home. Okay. Just kidding. We have to stay here. For the sake of the quest. Sure. Okay, Volo. And uh, what's happening here? A deity? An all-encompassing deity, the creator of the uh, this very universe. And its name is... You guessed it. John Cena. Uh, yeah, Arceus does sound familiar. Of course. Who else could have expected from the hero who saved the Sui region? Anyways, let's discuss the fragments. <laughs> I missed an opportunity to say, but enough about me. <laughs> they must surely be the plates. The very plates you collected as you went about. Oh yeah, I, throw the, I threw those out, dude. Dumped, I sold those to the shopkeeper for Pokeballs. Wolfie, are you kidding me? Where are those now? I don't know, I think the guy died. Wolfie, what do you mean? Alright, blah blah blah. Follow, where are we going? Point me in the direction. Please, 520 yards away, is this a joke? Come on, dear, get up there. Come on, you little fucking bastard, get up. Come on, you're almost there. A little bit more hoomph in the back legs. There we go. And his name is John Arceus. Did you check to see if uh, it could talk to you? No, I've uh, left the pink pokey in my backpack in the PC. But I did try and talk to uh, the one I have in my team right now. Uh, Dialga. We did talk to Dialga, but we haven't talked to the other one yet goes on until you get the remaining plates from some of the legendaries. They were the ones being thirsty. My man, you're talking about brains being railed. Listen, Hoff. You love it or you wouldn't be here. Follows hot, what can I say? He's so gender. Agreed. I've no idea what that means, but yes. Was I the only one that noticed that Volo's foot was fucking around in the ground? I was staring at his ass, I'm not gonna lie. Now, Wolfie, according to my own investigations... <gasps> Oh my god, Alpha Vespa Queen out of fucking nowhere. From downtown, Vespa Queen brings the action. My god, check out the fucking dumper on that. Go, Dialga! Dialga. You're the legendary Pokemon of space and time, or one of them. You should be able to handle this, no problem. We are gonna lead with, uh. Ooh. ooh right. Wait, Dialga hasn't even mastered its. Jay Cubaroos? Dude, is that young Jacob Crane in the chat? Hey guys, how are we liking the game? Hey Cubsy, welcome back to 11 months. Thank you for the resub, my guy. Hell yeah. Nice to see you, dude. How's things, Cubsy? Uh, why is uh, Dialga has is not mastered its moves, dude? Not even mastering Flash Cannon. What the fuck, dude? Uh, what do we want to do? Flash Cannon gets stabbed, right? I guess it doesn't really matter. Fuck it, I'll, he I'll help with the flash cannon. Boom. Oh my god. That did no damage. Oh shit, prepare to be destroyed by a random fucking bug Pokemon. Just kidding, you're OP. Defensive stats were lowered. No! Hold. 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 I can't even do a fast flash cannon. What about a cheeky, a cheeky earth power, yeah? Wait, was that a... Oh, wait a minute, we fucked up. That was supposed to be a fast one, and it wasn't a fast one. Whoopsie. Uh, no, don't do anything. Let's just, uh... Let's do, uh... Yeah, we get two of these back-to-back, -back, right? Let's do Flash Cannon into Roar of Time, and maybe it wins. Phew! Okay. We could catch it, but fuck that noise. Blow it up. Dead. See you later, loser. 
Mm. I like the new sub jingle. Thanks, Cubsy. I'm glad, man. How are you doing tonight? Thank you so much for the resub. Wolfie's enjoying it so much he's making five sex jokes an hour. More like 55 an hour. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm, I'm innocent, chat. You can't prove it. I am innocent. I never make adult immature jokes. Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find the plate lying around. Hey, Volo, I'll tell you what. I'll take you back to my place and show you my plate. I mean, what? Anyways. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all of the plates. Oh, <gasps> Mistress Kogita. No, the old man that lives in the shelter down the road. His name is Sir Finley Murgleton. Let's go. So we came to this spot, talked a bunch of shit and fought a Vespa Queen. That was so fucking random, dude. Oh my god, an evil Heracross. Kind of dank. Okay. Sure, I guess. I dreamed a dream of times gone by. <laughs> Sir Finley Murgleton, yeah, dude. Off, don't pretend like he's not your favourite character. Things are good, busy as hell, but good. Alright, Cubsy. Have you been working, mate? What have you been up to? Have you been play any, playing any Legends Arceus? There's something you have to accept. He substitutes many things with horniness. What are you guys doing smudging my innocent and pure name chat? I don't get you. I think you guys are reflecting at the minute. And, uh, honestly, a bit childish. A bit childish, chat. I think you guys are pressuring your own inner desires onto me, and, uh, a bit weird, you know? Kind of weird. Hey, buddy. I would like to rest, please. Thanking you. Cookie is kind of old, but she could still get it. <laughs> I knew, Eva. I, Eva, I knew you were horny, dude. Ava, what's been up with you? What have you been up to? Let's go report our survey skills, sure. Jack, you mean projecting? That's what I said, reflecting. Prospecting. Phoneticking? Jesse, be quiet. Return to the village. Jack is a decent pervert. Really, I'll take it. In the butt. I mean, what? <clears throat> We're not reflecting, Jack. We're embracing. We're all thirsty and it's okay to admit that. I mean, there's a time and place, chat. I would like you guys to consider this chat like the local church, you know? You wouldn't uh, strip naked and talk about filth in there. And I don't want you guys to do it here either. So, if you just wouldn't mind getting your fucking minds out the gutter and relaxing. Okay, we're playing Pokemon tonight. I'm here trying to relax and enjoy my, my Friday evening. And I don't want you to talk... Any more of these vulgar topics again? Why did I come back here only to leave again? What the fuck? Right, no, honestly, I don't have it in my heart to keep doing this, guys. It's too shit. I think what we do is we just, uh... We could have a look at our new Pokey, right? Why not? For the sake of checking it out. Delete this art file. Jesse, you're an art file. Right, uh... Item box... Where's my, uh, where's my Pokemon, dude? Can I not swap Pokemon in here? Where did I do that again? I, oh, I do it at the, uh, the little, the little farmyard. The farmyard, let's go to the farmyard, yeah. I haven't played it yet, but the reviews and reception kind of surprised me. Yeah, me too, Cubsy. Me too. The reviews have been rather positive. Hmm. Well, I have a muck made out of sand, says Hoff. What are you going to do about it? Hoff, I have no idea <laughs> what to make of a comment like that. Literally, literally no idea. Uh, let's take out Bravaria. Or Bravery, rather. I keep calling it fucking... I'm making up these names. Uh, Cricket Top. Alright, let's have a look at this beast. Uh, Palkia. What's up, Chief? Give me a hug. Here's a good boy. Did you just teabag me? What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh, okay. Okay, we're doing the hokey cokey. You ready? Put your left leg in. 
Put your right leg in. Did he's not doing the bunny hop anymore? You do the whole kikoki and yet turn around. Okay, no, this is not working. Palkia, you suck. You suck at the hokey cokey. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you here, you big oaf. God damn it. Can't get away. Um. Why would you keep art? Oh, what are you on about? What do you mean, why would you keep art? I once knew someone who broke into an abandoned church and had sex in there. Ava, I don't want to know about what you did last week. Keep those stories to yourself. Jesus. No, the finale, says Jesse. Well, the finale's done, guys. We hit the credits. I'm pleased. We don't need to do any more of this shit, dude. It's absolutely and utterly bafflingly shit. We're not... We're not gonna... We're not gonna do any more. I can't. I just can't. Art is subjective, and therefore it is inherently worthless. Wait, stop it. You don't even mean that. Wait, you didn't say that about the nude drawing I sent you last week. Swap to Barbie, says Hoth. Hoth, I'm gonna ban you for life. Macarena is the goat. True. We've only been here for three hours. I know, but even then, Gijin, don't you admit that that's already too much? We have to do. We have to do a review, guys. Let's find a nice, quiet part of the village. We need a nice, quiet part of the village. Is there like a? We need to find somewhere that's nice and quiet. I need the music to calm down a little bit. Does the music change in here? A bit too upbeat for my liking. Let's go to the camp. Let's try the camp soundtrack. If you ban me, then you should ban everyone else that asks for Barbie. Hoff, I might do it. But then their blood will be on your hands, Hoff. What would you say about that? He won't do it if he hasn't banned me or Valkyrie about it. Don't tempt me, Gideon. Don't fucking tempt me. Right, Fieldlands camp. It'd be on your hands since you're banning people about it, not me. Off, I'm just the authority figure. You're the one throwing them under the bus. You have to take some responsibility. Okay, what about standing up here? This would be a pretty good place to chill, right? Okay. Guys, we have to talk about Pokemon Arceus. Do it then? I mean, if you insist. Alright. Sorted. Right. Okay. Guys, Legends Arceus. How are we going to go about discussing this? When I saw the first trailers for Arceus a few months ago at this point, I was not hopeful for this game. Hear me out. I'm going to be brutally honest. I saw the trailers and I thought, damn, this game looks like it's unfinished. And I was really nervous for its release. I've always been excited for an open world Pokemon game. I've always been hyped. I've always hoped that Pokemon would develop into this kind of game for a long time, ever since I played the first Pokemon game when I was little. When I came into the week of launch, I was not planning on getting Legends Arceus, Le Legends Arceus, Legends Arceus, however you pronounce this game in your own way, whatever. Um, and the, re the reviews started to come out and the reviews were really positive, uh, way more positive than I thought it was going to be. And I was pleasantly surprised because don't get me wrong, I want the game to be really good. I really did. Now that we've gotten uh, pretty much to the end of the main story there is still some content left for us to touch on and we might end up playing that today after this but for the sake of this review know that i've beaten the the main story and gotten to the credits and we've caught a bunch of pokemon along the way done a huge amount of requests along the way and for the most part you know had a pretty decent time so in this kind of discussion i'm going to try and keep it as brief as possible i'm going to talk about all the things i liked about the game first then i'm going to talk about all the things that i think held it back and then ultimately I'm going to give you guys a brief conclusion and evaluation on whether I think the game is worth the money and is also uh, worth your time. So, Legends Arceus, what am I happy about in terms of this video game? First of all, I think the the initial premise of an open world video, uh, an open world Pokemon game as discussed is a great idea. It's something that I'm really looking forward to in the future for Pokemon and I hope that this uh, series marks... Uh, almost like the idea of what what could be to come in the future, and so the concept of it is almost more exciting than the actual game that we've experienced right now. Uh, something we've been talking about all week. I think that if Game Freak is trying to make new open world games, I think it's a good start. Um, so yeah, I like that idea. I love the 
Pokemon roaming around in the wilds, and I think that, you know, the basics of the catch mechanic, catching the Pokemon, sneaking around, rolling around, uh, getting on your movable Pokemon and driving around, is all decent. It's quite fun. Your mobility is pretty good, and uh, yeah, I think that the whole having Pokemon roaming around in the overworld, some big, some small, is really cool, and I really like that about it. There's a lot in the game that is is quite clean, your character design, the fact that you can change your character's outfit and hairstyle, although the, the, you know, the options in the beginning are fairly limited. I do like that there's some customization. Could it be better? Yeah, probably. There's a lot of stuff in the game that I think is really well designed, like this menu here, for example, is really clean. I talked about this a lot, and the chat keeps... It's probably going to be a bit confused why I keep bringing it up, but there is aspects to this game that are really polished, and uh, some of it is, is well put together. The setting of the Hisui region and the fact that it's tied to Sinnoh as, as, like, as a... A place and environment that you can explore is also quite good. I was quite happy with that as well. I love the idea of being in this kind of 1800s, I think the, the time period is. I like the idea of having the feudal kind of, you start in a campsite, you have to craft up your items, you have to go out into the world. You've almost, almost got a kind of grindy, survival-y type system where you have to go out and collect resources if you want to make more potions, make more revives, make more Pokeballs. I, I like that, I do. I think that's all pretty well done because it ties into the whole running around and grinding for the Pokedex. And so all of those things combined with the different Pokemon varieties you can have in the game. I think there's 250 plus Pokemon or something, some number around that. We talked about that earlier. I do think that all of that's pretty good. So uh, yeah, in terms of in terms of the positive, that's, that's pretty much where it ends for me in terms of Arceus. I think... Again, I'll do a conclusion about this at the end, but I do think that for the most part, the effort involved here at creating this game and making it open world is the most exciting part about this this game. Uh, and for me, that's where a lot of the benefits dry up. There's a lot of negatives that I'm going to talk about right now, and I'm going to try and be as balanced and open-minded as possible, but uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys as well. So, first of all, I did not have as much fun playing this game as I would have hoped. Which, is, which I know is quite controversial because a lot of people in my community, a lot of my friends and a lot of people online seem to be having a blast with this game. I could only play this game in set like in settings of about four or five hours at most, which I know to an average person might be way more than you can afford to spend on a game every day. But when we're streaming games often, I normally stream for about eight to 10, sometimes 12 hours. I could not do that with this game. I just couldn't. Uh, again, that's just me personally, but I found that the... The general activities that you do in the game, the running around and the catching, to be very kind of bare bones, very uh, repetitive, and not very engaging at all. I think that from a graphical standpoint, obviously this game has been completely shat on in terms of its graphical fidelity. There's obviously Switch games that have, have outperformed this. I am playing with the console docked so that I can capture it for streaming, and when the, when the game is you know, stretched out onto the monitor, it looks like shit at times. Now, I know graphics aren't everything, and you don't need your you don't need your video game to be stellar. You know, it doesn't have to have stellar graphics to be fun. But I think this game is laughably bad at some points in terms of you know the frame rate, in terms of the uh, the assets in the game, in terms of the draw distance. There's a lot of poor performance here. I think that the game is under polished in a lot of areas, and it really really sucks that this is a full price game. I think that if this was any other franchise that wasn't Pokemon, this game would be completely and utterly memed on because of how bad some of the fucking, some of the, the issues are. There's a lot of problems where when you go, in, you go into the big kind of purpley vortex or if you go into a cave, you really notice the kind of pixelation that's going on with some of the characters. They have these weird, awful white outlines. Hopefully, if you guys are playing handheld with the console, like literally in your hands, you might not notice some of these things. And if that's the case, that's great. But uh, on on look, with the with the switch docked and on your monitor, this game is some of the some of the problems are very noticeable. When you're driving around, uh, sometimes a Pokemon in the distance, just like in the trailers when this game was announced uh, months ago, some of the Pokemon are moving at literally one FPS. You've got a one of my friends was talking about this yesterday. You've got a, a scene for the wings of certain flying Pokemon. You've got a frame up here, a frame in the middle, and then a frame down, and it literally just you know. That's what you're looking at. So graphics obviously could be better. I do think that this this game could have done with more cooking in the oven in terms of development, but 
again obviously because it's pokemon it's got a huge following and it, again people seem to be having fun with it which is great but i'm just letting you know i think that's unacceptable for 2022 i know there's limitations to the hardware but come on the pokemon franchise has a lot of money and the switch has proved time and time again that some of the games on the switch can look really good i think this game you know anyways i've made my point about the graphics i think that again the um the jobs that you that the game has you doing it's pretty bare bones. The world feels very open and empty, and although some of the biomes are nice to explore and roam around in and catch Pokemon in, the content feels very dry at times. The, the 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 world itself feels kind of empty. It does feel like they've made a sandbox Pokemon game, and then everything they've put into it has been an afterthought. I uh, the request that the game has you doing all the side quests to me felt extremely boring and very, again, very meaningless. You know, you speak to one person and they want you to go and find a stick in the woods and then you speak to another person and they want you to go and find them a rock and then there's another Pokemon that needs to be found for somebody and, you know, you have to show them a Cubone that's been covered in oil at the uh, the middle of the Moonlight Mass but also one that's been dunked in cereal. There's, like, tons and tons of, like, awkward requirements and I know that a lot of RPGs do this. I don't know if it's acceptable or not. Some people have a lot of fun ticking off those things, but I just feel like it's very low effort and it feels kind of like a chore to play sometimes, but again, that's obviously player dependent. Other things worth mentioning are obviously the story and the characters that are introduced. Again, I do like this Hisui region as a whole and I like that you're in this kind of feudal era, but I do think that the plot was very kind of repetitive and once you notice the structure of what you're doing in the game, it's very it's very repetitive it's very the same you go to an area you fight against the boss you return to the professor you have potato mochi and then you do it again and again and again until you get to the end of the game you have all these characters that talk shite 90 percent of the time around you none of which seems to matter at all none of the characters actually ever do anything to help you until the end when some of them actually give you like revives and max max heals or whatever but uh yeah for the most part i find myself kind of just trudging through it I started trying to read the stuff in the beginning, but I just felt like it was lost on me after about the first few hours. It just it just seemed like a bunch of waffle, to be honest. And uh, not that I was expecting, you know, a, a groundbreaking story from a Pokemon game, but obviously they did try and incorporate a story into this game, and it's okay, but it's nothing, it's nothing massive. There's nothing, like, really, really invigorating here. You just kind of put up with it. I think a lot of players will be skipping through it. But then some people won't, obviously. And if you have enjoyed the story, that's good. Again, I don't. I want you guys to have fun, but I'm just telling you guys my honest experience. For the most part, I think that Arceus marks uh, a really exciting advancement in the series. And I, again, I think that this game is a stepping stone more than anything. And for that reason, it's quite exciting. I do really look forward to more open world Pokemon games in the future. And I really hope that they take the success and the sales of this game and it pushes them to build upon this and make an even better product at some point further down the line. But that being said, I do think this game is overpriced. It obviously needs a lot more work done to some of the areas. I didn't find it that engaging. And uh, again, I think that if it had been any other game that wasn't Pokemon, I don't think this game would have done very well. But yeah. Nicely done, play Barbie Horse Adventure. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's all I want to say, but... I hope you guys have enjoyed Arceus. I don't mean to seem like a, you know, like I'm shitting on the game. I know a lot of people are having fun with it, but I just, uh, I just didn't find it truly. I, d I just didn't find it as good as other people did, and uh, I can't lie to you guys. I uh, had fun on stream messing around with some of the mechanics and catching some of the Pokemon and doing some of that jazz, but for the most part, I um, yeah, I think it, I, I think it could have been more. I think it could have been more. Still exciting for the franchise moving forward.